What's going on, people? Troops TV. Back again. Back up Blood Clark again, you understand? Obviously, the season is dead and gone now, Blood. You understand? Justin Timberlake settings. No resurrection, Blood. You understand? No Undertaker, WrestleMania 30 settings, bro. None of that. The season is done. So, it's only right that we review the season with... A couple of my dogs, you get me? That that will not hold back. You understand? They 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 will say what's on their mind, what is what they want to get off their chest. You understand? Obviously, episode two twenty five. You already know the vibe. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Man, like Zaza is back in the cut. You understand? He survived the alligators once again. You get me? He's he's back safe and sound. But like I said, we do have another two guests in the cut we do have the most infamous man on youtube he he, he is the <laughs> he is the marmite of, of youtube blood you understand you either love him or you hate him blood you get me over here Ooh. we love him blood you get me we go way back my brother gunner the people have been keep coming in the comments yo get gunner on get gunner on i'm like brother gunner's coming pause you understand i know when to grab mr lee gunner and here he is live in the flesh. Gunnar, what are you telling me, Broski? I'm good, man. Thanks for having me on again. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'm sure we're gonna we're gonna do the no holds barred chat. That's how we roll. Yeah, and um if people are gonna cry, let them cry. If people are like it, let them like it. That's how it is, isn't it? Yeah, but we're not gonna dress it up and dilute it. We just say what we think. That's how I roll. Yeah, man. And we have another man that doesn't hold back blood. You get me. He, he rips up, he hit me. Arsenal getting ripping shirts on live streams. <laughs> Luckily, this year, no shirt was <laughs> ripped. Blood. There was no Hulk Media settings this year, blood. You understand? There was a few head losses, <laughs> but no, there it is, blood. You understand? <laughs> yes. There it is, blood. You understand? Man, like Curtis, my brother. What are you telling me, bro? Hey, what's happening, bro? Yeah, no shirts ripped this year, man. Inflation's <laughs> real, man. You can't be ripping shirts no more, but. Uh, yeah, hey, man, a shirt, man. blood. It's mad. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, we're here. Like you said, man, not everyone's gonna like what we've got to say, but you know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't celebrate second too much, so it ain't for everyone, you know. Zaza, um so let's let's start with you, Blood. You get me? Because you're you're probably the, the nicest one on, on the <laughs> on the pod. You get you are blood, you get me, blood. Like you're you're the you're the fucker that drew me out, blood. You understand? Like yeah. I was there, just you get me doing my little high hole thing, and then you, you, you took me to another level, blood. You understand? <laughs> but we're gonna start with um the first eleven. You get me? I, I want I want the man them to rank um the players out of ten uh this season. Um Ramsdale for me. Um I know. Gunner is very critical. I'm not sure of um, Curtis's thoughts on uh, Ramsdale. Uh, for me, I would, I, I, I'd give Ramsdale a seven and a half out of ten. You understand? I, I think he made a few mistakes, but he didn't make a lot of mistakes. You get me? I think he kept us in it more than he took us out of it, blood. You understand? He just turned 25. Goalkeepers peak at like, 28, 32. You understand? That's when they're at their peak or when they start to peak. He's nowhere near his peak. Um, I think he, 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 I think he's done really well this season. You get me? I, I don't think that he's a player that I would be like, like when he got the new contract, I wasn't, I, I wasn't like upset about that. I was happy. You understand? I think we need to be tying him down. He, he's a quality keeper. I, I'd give him a seven and a half out of 10. Zaza. You're probably gonna give an eight or something like. Nah, nah. I think that seven seven range is fair. He, I thought he started off pretty well in the season. I think towards the back end here, he 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 wasn't as good as he was in the, in the first half of the season. Towards the, towards the back end, I think he came like what third, second or third, and and clean sheets in in the in the league. I believe to eleven or so. I forgot what the exact number is. So I think I think he did well. He kind of fell off. At the at the end, he he for me he played within within uh, within his abilities. I, I I wasn't too you know I wasn't too wowed or, or or disappointed in him. That's he he 
he kind of did what 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 I expected out of him. And yeah, I mean, it was a solid so, solid season for Ramsdale, if you ask me. Seven <laughs> seven is fair. Connor. Mm, yeah, I'll go seven. I'll go seven. I think um, I, I, I disagree about the contract. He should never have got a new deal. Yeah, he still had two years left. He ain't done nothing to warrant a new deal on new terms, pay rise, when he's still got two years left. You do that next season. Yeah, he's not won anything. And he's been a part of the biggest bottle job in Premier League history after bottling top four. So he's had a good season, but I wouldn't say it's an exceptional season. So, yeah, I'd go seven. Guys? Yeah, I go seven as well. I think, um, like you said, he's still young for a goalkeeper. I think there's another level for him to go in terms of if he can become a world class keeper. Um, I think I've still got slight doubts over whether can he make that jump into the Champions League. You know, that's another level. You look at Courtois and their man at Madrid, they're, they're just different. They got so much presence. Um, I'll probably give him a seven as well. I suppose we're still, with me, with Ramsdale, I'm still like, is he a better goalkeeper than Emmy? And I know that's going over old ground, but you think we sold him to keep Leno, then to sell Leno to get Ramsdale. And I'm still like, is he a better keeper than Emmy? Emmy's won the World Cup. So, but yeah, he's had a decent season, but yeah, he can go up another level. I'll give him a seven. Benny Blanco. Gunner. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> your guy, blood. Hey, hey, your I've guy, blood. All season, man. I feel. I, I think until the last five, six, seven games, I thought he was probably the best right back in the league. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think Trippier just edges it overall, um, just based on our collapse. Like, and yeah, he's he's been good though, man. He has been good. His, his defending has been so much better at right back than it is at centre back. Yeah, I, I do not want to see him play centre back. That guy can't defend at centre back. But a right back, yeah, he's got less um, less responsibility really, and he can get forward. And listen, there's not many players that can cross a ball. Yeah, in the Premier League, full stop, he can actually cross a ball. So, yeah, man, I think he's um, I think he's had a very good season. I'm going to give him an eight. I, I agree. You didn't expect that, did you? you no, 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 I, I didn't. Blood. I, I, I thought you was going to go seven, maybe. Maybe a six, you get me, due to the way he fell off at the end of the season. But I'm actually with you on the eight, blood. You understand? I think him and Saliba have been our best defenders this season. Gabriel, a lot of people say Gabriel's done really well, but I think Saliba was the man. You understand? That's that's the top ton, blood. You get me? Number one. And then for me, it was Ben White, blood. You understand? Because like you said, when he went to right back, he's been a revelation, blood. You get me? He, he's a lot better. And when he does get up and down the flank and support Saka, that right-hand side is a threat, blood. You understand? And, and that is down to him overlapping and allowing Saka to cut inside and do the mad thing on his left foot. So, yeah, I would go with an eight as well, blood. Curtis? Yeah, I'd give him an eight, you know. Um, at centre-back, I wasn't a fan of him. I thought 50 million, I can't see it at all. I don't know what, you know what I mean? But at right-back, I always say right-back's, I think, one of the hardest positions in the Prem because... You look how good the left wingers are in the Prem, you know, Grealish, Rashford, even like Zaha, a man like that lower down the mm -hmm. table. Mm -hmm. I think you can see that he hasn't got the energy of a right back, though. You know, he comes off in a lot of games, they're taking yeah, him off. 70 minutes, you always see that number see, four come up. Him. He comes up. So I think we need a right back in the summer, but that, that's not because of him. I just think we need a more natural option there. Um, so I give him an eight. He's had a, he's had a very good season. Fell off a bit at the end, but the team just were falling anyway, so. Yeah, I give him an eight. Zaza, I am shocked that I'm going to be the one that gives him the lowest score here. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking probably around six and a half, seven. So beginning six. Of the se wow. six and a half, seven. First half of the season, he was unbelievable. His, his, his defensive work, unbelievable. You could, you could not get past him. I thought he was going forward. I, I, I thought he was average even during that first half of the season kind of thing. He, he, he did pretty well. This fall off, these past what? I think it was like ten games in a row. That fall off was way too drastic. He could not make Is a that due to him having holding next to him though, and not having Saliba because next to him he had Saliba. You understand? Right. That's very you understand, very composed. You get me? Saliba would even help him at times when he was having a tough time with a winger. When it's just now just him and holding, who you understand, we all know about holding, blood. Man's out here taking pictures with fucking bottles and saying cheers, blood. You understand? Absolute fucking disgrace for that blood. Absolute fucking shambles, bro. You get me? You wouldn't see fucking Vieira doing that, blood. You wouldn't see fucking Henri doing that. You wouldn't even see fucking Fabregas and the man there doing that, blood. 
but that's another conversation. But do you think that is why he fell off? Because even Gabriel, who we're going to go on to, he fell off as well, Brad, when Saliba dropped when Yemi. Uh, his 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 fall off. I mean, I I it could have been, it, bro. He wasn't making five yard passes, simple passes. I don't care who's next to you, who you're playing with. Make a simple ball. Yeah, the team chemistry stuff, the team chemistry stuff, the positioning stuff. Yes, that makes sense. You need you need you need cohesion with with your teammates. But a simple, I am looking at you. I'm gonna pass the ball to you, kind of thing. He was not doing that at all these past these past like what ten games or so. So his. His fall off was too drastic. He started off at that eight level for me, but his fall off, his his fall off was way too drastic for me. To, so yeah, I dropped I dropped it down to like a six and a half, seven. Run about that. Six and three. Um, Saliba, Curtis. Yeah. I mean, for me, that that's a nine. It's yeah. a straight nine. Like <laughs> you're talking about one of the best young centre backs in the world. Um, and I know it's a different story, but they're saying they're struggling to get this contract, you know, signed and PSG are waiting. I think, I don't think they've treated him good enough, to be honest, in the previous years. And now, you know, if he was to walk away, I think we'd have to look in the mirror and blame ourselves. So hopefully he does stay. But I think until he got injured um, against Lisbon, he was just, he's just different class, you know. And you saw it when he came out of the team. It shows how much we rely on him. Um, for such a young age. So, yeah, so that's a nine. One of the best players in this team this season for me. William Saliba, for me, Vlad. You understand? Gunnar will know because me and Gunnar go way back. I have been pushing for this guy to be playing in our team from under, from when Emery signed him, Vlad. You get me? From Emery, so obviously, I totally understand <clears throat> when his mother passed away, rest in peace to mummy, Vlad. You understand? I totally understand that he needed to go back and be around his family, but there's the other two, see me, like Fafana comes in, hits the ground running. They was in the same team. Saliba was the one that was getting all the praise, all the hype, the next Varane, the next Desai, all of this blood. You understand? He's coming to the Arsenal team, his first game at Crystal Palace, absolute masterclass blood. To go away in your debut game on a Friday night, Palace away, that, get me, that, that fan base, Get me, it's it's that is one hell of an atmosphere to go and play in blood, mm. especially for your first game. You understand, like new new players. You know, that's even Zinchenko started in his debut, a whole new backline, and he went there and absolutely bossed the game, blood. You understand, like the the tackles he makes. Yeah, he he's got them further than tackles where he tackles mm. man, but he don't even touch man, blood. He just clips and he's gone, blood. Like absolute Rolls Royce of a defender. For me, I hear that they're saying that. Um, He's not happy with the money they're offering him. Yeah, yeah. You understand? And, and it wouldn't surprise stuff. me that they're offering him nowhere near what Saka has, blood. It wouldn't surprise me that they... And he needs to be getting more than Saka, bro. Man, I talk about Starboy this and Starboy that. He's a Starboy at the back, blood. You build from the back. If we lose Saliba, this whole title charge, this whole Arsenal new generation, Arsenal, we're back again fighting where we want to be. It, it, it dies. Because you, 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 you will lose so much when you lose him, blood. You, you lose a leader... You lose a fighter. You you lose so much blood. The the calmness he brings to that defense, bro. The calm, like even the way that Gabriel has lost his bozo gene. It is Saliba blood. Mm. Do you understand? It is that is all down to this brother here. Do you understand? We saw the capitulation when he got injured, and then we had um, Holden, and then we had Kivio. Do you understand? In the Premier League, there's only a few defenders on his level, blood. Do you understand? And, and if we don't tie him down and, and we see him walk out the door, I will lose my fucking shit, blood. I will lose my... Because, man, know me. I'm not going to... Oh, no, no, no. Fuck that. What the fuck are you playing that, blood? You Nah, fuck that, blood. Yeah? None of that on Troop TV, dog. Yeah? So, for me, I'm with Curtis, blood. Nine out of ten, bro. You understand? Gunner. I agree, man. I, I think... Um... I think the way he's been treated is nothing short of a disgrace, if I'm honest. Yeah, and, the, and it goes to show, like you said about Palace, yeah? Listen, Palace, we've got a pretty poor record against. Yeah, we've, we've all been there. We've all seen the, the, the defeats. We've, I've seen Alexis on his last game. Yeah, nick us a win <coughs> right near the death. You know, it's not an easy place to go, especially on the opening game of the season, you know, and, and in a night game. And just cool as a cucumber, man. That He's got the physical presence. He's got the calming presence. His reading of the game is elite. 
Yeah, for somebody that age, yeah, the way that guy reads the game, it's almost like you're looking at prime Van Dyke. I'm not, I'm not saying he's that good, yeah, but the way Van Dyke back in a couple of years ago, yeah, just reading the game, he's never out of position. Don't have to slide in. You know, very, very rarely see him go to ground. I know he did it against, I think it was West Ham, yeah, but other than that, you very rarely see him go to ground, man, because the guy's always in the right position. You can't teach that. You've either got it or you ain't. Yeah, and the fact that he's made Ben White look like a great player at right back, and he's made the Bozo gene actually look outstanding at times this season. Yeah, you know, I think that's credit to him, man. And it's no coincidence we've capitulated as soon as he's out the team. You know, so yeah, I agree, man. I think that if I'm him, I'd genuinely leave. I'm just being straight up. If I'm him after three loans, yeah, when I know I'm good enough and I know that I'm better than Rob Holding and I'm better than Pablo Marie. And I'm better than um, other players that we've had there. I think that David Luiz, Socrates, there Socrates, mm. Mustafi, and all of them lot. Yeah, like I, I just think if I'm in, if there's another club in for me, like PSG, Madrid, yeah. somebody like that, I'm going. Yeah, he don't owe Arsenal nothing. Yeah, and he's got one year left. The fact that the fact that we were told as well that he was only out for two weeks, and now he might not even be back for pre-season. Yeah, what's that all about? Yeah, because his back looked fine when he was when he was in Cameroon the other week, slouching on a chair. <laughs> like, and I've got a dodgy back. Yeah. And that man's slouching on a chair. What's wrong with his back? The gunner would be slumped in the away in that. <laughs> 85th minute, he's like, yo, blood. He's about better put up two minutes stoppage time. Yeah, mate, when, when they put up 10 against United, I bounced, bro. I was straight out. Yeah, he was, was out, blood. Like, moonwalking and that. Yeah, but but no, I think he's been outstanding, man. And then, like, I know we're going to come to other players, but for me, he is right up there for player of the season. Mm -hmm. mm. Za? Yeah, on par, on par with you guys, nine. Yeah, everyone saw what happened when he left. It's it's when he left the team that you actually saw his, his real value. We we started having to entirely change our system. Instead of inverting on the left, we started trying to invert on the right now with Pate. We, we you know, were moving Kivio from center back to left back, moving shit around. And that's all because Salibo was gone. And and yeah, I mean he's he's immense. Our our our, our build up game is completely was completely non existent, wasn't as good without him, pretty much. And though it's it's the drop the drop down from from when we had to fill in with holding and and them guys it's just I mean it's 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 harsh it's harsh on holding he didn't necessarily make a mistake but he was he's not he he's not Salib so so he really did affect like our build up game and he's immense nine nine and I hope that contract that number I saw I saw one twenty five a week that's that's insulting that yeah. is insulting Harry Maguire Harry Maguire is on like what two fifty three hundred. 125 a week. If I'm if I'm Saliba, as as Gunnar says, I would I I I don't blame him personally. On a, I want him to stay. Of course, I'm an Arsenal fan, but looking in his eyes, his personal view, I'm out. 125 is an insult. Hmm. Gabriel, Curtis, <clears throat> this is a tricky one. Do you know yeah, what? I, yeah, I like, yeah, go like sticky one. That, still, I'm not gonna lie. I'm telling you. Do you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna give him some credit. Though. I'm gonna give him an eight. I'll tell you why because. Number one, I saw that he's played every single game this season. No injuries, yeah. no suspensions. I have to respect that. And the, Number two, at the end of the season, he's looking to his left. He's got Zinchenko, who, listen, great on the <laughs> ball, but that brother can't defend. <laughs> we, we could talk about inverted all day long, but can you defend? No, you can't defend. And you're crying at Anfield. I don't know about you, but I don't want to see my one of my leaders crying like a baby at Anfield. Then he's looking to his right. He's got Rob Holding, who, I mean... <laughs> I mean, he should be in the championship. Do you know what I'm saying? And then, and then at right back, you got Ben White. He's collapsing, and you know, he's his defending went to pot. So, what's he supposed to do? And then the guy in front of him, Pate, he started to look like an old man at the end of the season. Couldn't yeah. move. So he must be thinking, what am I supposed to do? It. I've got no one around me. No, I'm doing this by myself. So, him and Saliba, it looked like he was going to win the league. The rest of them have gone. He's the only one there. It's hard for him to do it by himself. So mm. I think it's probably his best season at Arsenal, to be honest. Um, probably unlucky to miss out on the Brazil squad um, for the World Cup. But yeah, I, I give him an eight. I give him an eight. He, he's, he's shown maturity this year. And uh, like I said, if you'd have had proper defenders around him, we'd have probably got over the finish line. So yeah, big, big up, Gabriel. I give him an eight. I know. Um, yeah, I'd go with an eight. I think the first, the first few games of the season, I thought it was shocking. 
yeah, we got so lucky in that Palace game. It weren't penalty given for handball. The Liverpool game, it should have been handball. I, I understand it's slightly bounced off, but on another day, that's given. Yeah, some of the um, dodginess against Southampton, like you know, there, there's been there's been games where he's looked way out of his depth, way out of his depth. But again, up until the World Cup, I thought he was a bit shady. After the World Cup, it was kind of Saliba that was I dipping a little bit. That, yeah, and then he just went up another level yeah from from jet from boxing day all the way through till april he was insane yeah and i'm a big critic of his man yeah but then for that four month period he was pretty much flawless man yeah and then like like curtis said you, you get zinchenko can't defend rob holding next year you've got party <laughs> is moving like he's on a walking stick and then when he ain't in the team you've got Jorginho's in in reverse like, what are you supposed to do, man? It's, it's yeah, you go easy. from a walking stick to a Zimmer frame. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and then, You're on top, bro. Like, at least part of the walking stick, you can do a little... You get me? Your genius. You get me? Then you've got a goalkeeper. I know, bro. The goalkeeper's <laughs> trying to pass every striker clean through on Oh, goal. my face, right. man. So yeah, man, it, it's it's been a it's been his best oh. season, definitely in an Arsenal <laughs> shirt. But ultimately, yeah, ultimately it could have ended with a title. Oh. Like I said, if we'd had Saliba and Gabriel there, I think we would we wouldn't have conceded yeah, all them goals. Done, yeah, yeah, I think I think we would have been better. But yeah, man, I'll go with an eight. I think he's he's been really good this season. He's actually surprised me to be fair. Yeah, because I I didn't think he was that good. Yeah, but that four months he was just unstoppable, man. Zla. Most improved out of uh, out of the previous, uh, right off the top of my head. So, so just thinking quick, I think he's the most improved uh, player for me this season. I, I think he, I think it was very, I think it was really. Good. That's that's uh, okay. Because I was, gonna, I'm gonna ask that question as well after we go through the team. But okay, yeah. For, for for me, for me, he's the early. So I I just did a quick think through real quick. For me, right now, he's the early early runner for 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 most improved player. He, I I, I thought he was, I thought he was brilliant. I. That 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 period that has gone up alluded to, he he was absolutely immense. And of course, the the wheels fell off as soon as defend the defending is a unit thing. The, the second we lost Saliba, I mean, all our defenders were gonna be doomed in that in that case, our whole entire back line, because you, you defend as a unit type of type of thing. So I thought it was immense. Eight, eight for me, eight is fair. Yeah, uh, I agree with the man as well, man. Eight all round. I think I've I've gonna got the point that gonna made where because before up until the World Cup, Saliba was probably best defender in the league. Blood. Yeah, in the league. Understand? Yeah. He was he was carrying um, Gabriel at times. Blood, you get me. <clears throat> Saving his club. But um, second half of the season, I think him not being picked for Brazil put a B in his bonnet. Blood, I think that rattled him. You get me. And, and, and since then, he still hasn't been picked by the Brazil squad. He just keeps getting better and better and better. Blood, you understand? And then obviously, the capitulation, like Curtis said, was very true as well. Like. You got Zinchenko there just crying like a bitch out the door. You got flipping, yeah, real talk, blood. You got Ben White doing up suntan on the right. You understand? It's, it's it is what it is, blood. You get me? You got Aaron Ramsdale fucking giving goals away, fucking left, right, and center. You understand? Waving to his missus in the crowd. You are, babe. You are, dad. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it is what it is, blood. So I do take all that into account. But yeah, I, I would give him an eight still. Um, Zinchenko. Now, for me, this man. Uh, going forward is probably one of the best in the league, blood. Yeah, um, he. I mean, he is as good as um, a Trent, um, a Robertson as um, going forward, but he is also defensively poor, just like Trent. You understand? Um, for me, he cost us this season, blood. You get me? Um, I said it to Zar when we. When we locked off the live, um, <laughs> 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 oh, I, I would have been gone. <laughs> but, uh, yo, oh, I, I would have, yo, they've been, they've been trying to cancel me. If they got their hands on that footage, but I'm finished. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, finished. I'm finished, blood. Yeah. I can't, like, Channel would have been gone. Bro, the channel would have been gone, blood. You get me, like, I'll tell you, blood. RIP troops, like, you get me, bro, like, it would have been an Andrew Tate team, but I went to go to Rumble, one of them ting there, blood. You get me, shout out Top G, shout out Top G every time. But, like, Zinchenko, blood, like, real talk, like, because, look, for me, yeah, the, the Liverpool game, he, him, the Southampton game, he cost us two, yeah, because the Walcott goal, he's flipping, doing his inverted bullshit, not looking... 
to see that his man is running behind him. Yeah, track your man. You're there fucking chasing the ball. The Liverpool um, goal, the man just got... got now you're getting nutmeg in the 85th minute, dog. A, 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 a Ukrainian captain, you know? Like, this is what I say to people. People, I say to people like, yo, put him into midfield and then put Tierney at left back. Oh, no. Da, 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 da. Bro, where does he play for Ukraine? In the midfield. They don't play him at left back. So even his own countryman know... Why? If we go to war, he can't defend. We have to put him like in a tanker, put him in the big armor tanker, give him beer guns and say go. Yeah, you can't put him on the front line and say, Yeah, here's a sword. Go, you'll go defend it. Because he'll come back, you won't even come back, man. He had to get chopped off, God forbid, blood. Do you understand? So for me, people will be like, Oh, you're harsh, blood. Duh, duh, duh. I give him a so six. Wait till I come to my rating, then <laughs> they'll be in tears. <laughs> <laughs> for me, for me, he gets a six. You get Ooh. me? For me, I, I'd give him a six. Gunner, I'm going to go to you first on this one. Three. Bamba Clark. Three. Yeah. Man, <laughs> people three. are going to burn. Raw. Raw. I thought Yardman was harsh when he dropped the five. Yeah. This is like free. <laughs> oh, I'm being oh serious as well. God. I'm not doing this for effect. I've been on him no, all no, season. No, no. Yeah, I've been on him all season. Yeah, I said I said when we were 2 0 up at Anfield, I said yeah. to Ola on the watch long, I said, get this guy off now. We went 2 0 up as soon as that second goal went in, I said, sub him. Sub him right now because he will cost us. Yeah, <laughs> where was he for Salah's goal? Nowhere to be seen. It was Gabriel slide tackling at the back stick, bouncing off Salah. He wasn't even in the shot, he wasn't even in the frame. Yeah, if you go and have a look at um what was the goal? Was it West Ham, the header? Was it West Ham? Yeah. Nah, that was um, Southampton, 3-1. Yeah, Southampton, yeah. Southampton, yeah. yeah. That was, was the third, third goal. goal against Southampton, yeah. yeah. Lost yeah. his man, yeah. Doing up huddles in the middle of the pitch. Nobody was listening to him. Yeah, this guy walks in the dressing room and all the PR and hype around him, always got the winning mentality, said we're going to win the league. Yeah, the guy was crying on the bench. Crying. Is that a leader to you? Because it ain't to me. Yeah, as good as he is going forward, his short game passing is elite. Yeah, elite. Yeah, some of his five, 10-yard passes are just insane, yeah? But... Ultimately, you're in the team to defend, and he can't defend. He's never in the picture for any of our goals. Yeah, and I know we've set the team up like us. So I don't just necessarily blame him, but you've played for Pep. Yeah, you're the captain of your country. Yeah, you're in a title race. Yeah, at least have a little bit of know how and say, actually, I better not run off over and he's, he's been on right wing some points this season. Just jogging over to right wing. Then how many times are football? I'm like, yeah, yo, Zar, yeah, yeah. where is he? Bro, where is he? Where is my man? My man's right behind Saka. I'm like, brother. Yeah, and then when we lose the ball, he jogs. It's not busting a gut to get back. He's just jogging. Yeah, the amount of times he's ended up at right back, centre back, DM, CM, AM, right wing. He's supposed to be at left back, mate. Yeah, and I swear, I said to Ola, a 2-0 up at Anfield, get him off the pitch. Yeah, and we didn't. And ultimately, one of the worst right backs in the league, yeah, defensively, nutmegs him. He didn't even, he knew he got done. Yeah, he just... He went like that. He just put his arms up. It was like, mate, you've just been nuts by Trent. Yeah. And then as soon as he gets nuts, he gets subbed off. And it was like, tierney has been warming up for 15 minutes, mate. Yeah. I was like, so I don't necessarily put it all on him. Yeah. But free. Not good enough, mate. Not good enough. If we had had Tierney in that last seven, eight games, we wouldn't have finished five points behind him. I'm not saying we would have won it, but we wouldn't have been that poor shipping goals left, right and centre. Oh, this one's complicated for me because <clears throat> I, I'm more of a traditional left back person. So so the inverted position is, is is very hard for me to judge. When we were rolling, that guy was key to how we were playing. Our build up play went through him and he's good. Everything went through him. Pause. However, <clears throat> the, the I mean the defensive shortcomings, the, those are just way, way, way they kind of overweigh his his, big, his his yeah, his that's brilliant the because yeah. it's more costly. There we go. He's, he's not like a striker where his brilliance is winning you games. His, his brilliance mm. is is setting you up, setting you up to win a game. So when you win, when your brilliance is not winning you games, and your shittiness is losing you games, I mean it's the shittiness is the one that that outweighs more. So it's and I never actually understood even even at the time when when people were saying oh when we were doing well, oh, he's the top left back, he's the, he's the left back for the team of the season so far and all that. I never really understood that. I would go six for, 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 for Zinchenko. Hmm. Guys, 
So two sixes and a three. Yeah. I, you know, I'm with you. I, I would give him a six. Um, I look at him as a defender, I just think. You think about the left-backs we've had over the last few years, like... Monreal's a better defender than yeah, Zinchenko. And I, and, and, I didn't even, and I didn't even rate Monreal like nah, that. But he was solid 7 out of 10 every solid. day. Every week, he's like a James Milner. Like I just yeah, give him the same yeah. performance every week. Zinchenko cannot defend. And even Old Trafford earlier in the season, you remember that goal? Bro, I said scored. that and I got bare shit. The goal, the Anthony yeah. goal, if he looks and sees that goal don't happen... Man mm. are telling me, oh, you're yeah, playing with Zinchenko, did it? Bro, man loves sucking him up because he's a fucking passion merchant. Mm. <laughs> Trust me, man. Like, like, do, you know, do you know what it is? People have to understand. At Man City, here, you don't like they've won the title with Delph at left back. They dominate the ball so much here. You can put any, you know, Bernardo Silva played left back against us and they still look good. Like, yeah. but in our team, we're not Man City, bro. Like, exactly. Tierney is a better defender than Zinchenko and he's probably going to leave as well. Let's be real. Um, but don't I do have to give heart. Zinchenko some credit because. When we were cooking earlier in the season, man, he was he was pivotal, you know, dropping yeah. in. And yeah, it is an instruction from Arteta. So if he's not there, you know, the manager's telling him to do that. So it's not his fault. But yeah, because to be fair, when Tini does, does play, even Tini's doing up fucking inverted. He's trying to do it, you know, and he don't look comfortable doing it. But nah, yeah, I mean, it is a worry next season. Champions League, you know, some of them elite wingers, man, they're gonna look at Zinchenko and think, yeah, I'm gonna. They'll, they'll target him. They're going to target him. So It'll be I like think, Trent, where they're like, yo, go, go get Trent. When they play yeah. Liverpool, it'll be yeah. go get Zinchenko. Yeah, yeah. So, I give imagine Vinny, you Imagine Vinny, when, imagine we get run by Bamba Clark. Imagine Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> Lord of his mercy. It's like a Christmas Y'all actually say, yo, you're not playing on the left today. You're going on the right, blood. Fuck it. Yeah. Rodrigo, go on the left. Vinny, mash him up. Yeah, yeah. It's a mad one, but I give him a six. I give him a six. But if Tierney goes, they've got to buy another left back as well. Man. They have to. Thomas Partey um, started off so well. Oh. <laughs> um, we were talking that there was talks of best DM in the world, uh, let alone uh, the Premier League. Uh, I kind of got gas with it as well. I kind of, yeah. I'm not no, going to no, lie, no, blood, you get gas. me? Coop's got huh? gas, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I, 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 I was partying hard, blood, you understand? I'm not going to lie. But uh, you get me, we... We saw the uncle at the end of the season, you understand? The uncle that gets drunk at the wedding and don't want to leave the party. He's just sitting there drinking um, super malt, you understand? But uh, I'll give Partey, I'll give him a seven, in, in my opinion. I think a seven is a fair score. I think the, the drop was not good enough and the drop was so bad that he actually got dropped. You get me? Arteta actually said, now nah, I'm done with this blood. You and your walking stick, hold bench. You understand? But when we were cooking, he was absolutely bossing that midfield blood. He was allowing Jacker to break forward. He was allowing Odegaard to do up his wizardry ways. Zinchenko to go forward because he was the one that would drop in and make it a back four. So, yeah, great leadership as well. Couple bangers in the season. But, yeah, the, the, the drop-off was was disgusting. I'll give Partey a seven. Za? Same same analysis as Ben White. I mean immense, immense when we were I, I think he was the best in the, in the in the league when we were when we were cooking. I think he was the best in the league, but that drop off at the end of the season was way, way, way too way too big, man. It's it's it was it was bad. So so I will I mean he ended up being moved to right back. <laughs> I mean because <laughs> Jorginho because Jorginho, Jorginho was doing better than him. Yeah, when I see my man at right back against Nottingham Forest, yeah, brother, I, 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 hey. my voice was already gone, yeah, because I remember the fan cam. That's that that one made it go like squeaky. You understand? Like I'm fucking, like I've been drinking fucking pints all night, blood. So I'm gonna go one point, one point lower than you. I'm gonna go six for party, same as same six. as in general. Yeah, I, the drop off was big, dude. The drop off was massive. He was cooking, yes, but the drop off. Consistency. We need that's the thing in a season. You need to be consistent, and uh, you can't just go from boom to like the worst player on the planet. It's it was too bad. Mm. Guys, it's a tough one again. Like you know, when you look back at party now, it, like I'm think I was so happy when we signed this guy, and when I look at it now, he hasn't really had one good season in mm. terms of a whole yeah, like a full. A full, he always yep. he breaks down. He's like an old car or something that just you know what I mean. It's 
he's gone from like you having is he the best DM in the league to like you said he's at right back. You're getting dropped for Jorginho. There's rumours of him getting sold now. Like I just I can't figure this guy out, man. Like what would I get? I'd probably give him a seven because he was so good until about March April. Um, I think we're going to have a similar conversation about a lot of players like yeah. Gray and then we collapsed and they disappeared. But you're looking for somebody to stand up and say, I'm still going to do my job. Um, he's nearly 30 now, man. I, I think you've got to start thinking about turning him into a squad player. Uh, I think if you're relying on him and building your midfield around him, you're going to keep being let down by him. So I give him a seven. But yeah, we need we need midfielders this summer, man. Gonna. Check his passport, man. Yeah, there's no way that guy's 29. He is the oldest 29-year-old. Man said over Femi Martin's Mark II, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the oldest 29-year-old in the world. Yeah, He never had a single injury at Atleti at all, ever. Yeah, I think he missed like one game and that wasn't even through injury. Mm. Yeah, I think that was through like a cold and illness or something, yeah? He comes to Arsenal, and I remember Arteta threw him back on the pitch against Tottenham when he was injured. Yeah, then he was one nil down, and they scored two oh, nil, and then yeah. oh mate, yeah. And the amount of times this guy's been injured, yeah, he's literally missed a whole season in games pretty much since he's been in. Yeah, I, I agree with Curtis, squad player. Yeah, when he's good, he's brilliant. Yeah, he's unbelievable when he's on it. But ultimately, you can't rely on this guy for a whole season. Yeah, and I would have given him a seven because I think. We were brilliant at times, and he was the, the heartbeat in midfield. He was pivotal to everything that was good mm -hmm. about us, yeah? But just for that shot in the 97th minute, there's still all bit in space. Oh. I'm taking half a point off. That yeah, was that Palace, like <laughs> Six and a half. Oh, Palace, Six and a half. Well, that's, where was that? Southampton? Uh -oh. Nah, Pat yeah, Southampton. Yeah, Southampton. Southampton. That's yeah, Southampton. Minute, yeah. That was it, Southampton. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's still all bit in space with Harry Kane's penalty. Like, th that was just prophetic. Everyone's in the box, and you're shooting from there. <laughs> when you've scored literally one out of a billion shots from there. Like, he scored a cracking goal against Tottenham, one of the goals of the season. Yeah, but this guy is... Nah, man, he's... he's I don't know what it is with the guy. He's like a, he's like a false image, isn't he? It's like, on, on paper, you go, yeah, Thomas Party. Then you watch him and you think, wow, this guy's really good. He's bouncing off players. He's dictating the play. He's got the energy. And then other games, it's like somebody's just zapped all of his energy out of him and he's an 80-year-old man running around or walking around. <laughs> Yeah, it's like you never, like you guys said, you never get a full season out of this guy. And that that's a worry, man. Yeah, because like I said, I think he's missed 33 games since he's been in. Yeah, that's nearly a whole season. Yeah, yeah. five more is a season, man. bro. Do you know what I mean? That, that ain't acceptable. Now you're going to level up and you're going into the Champions League. Yeah, you're playing even yeah, more games at a more intense level. Builders. You're going mm -hmm. up against mm -hmm. the Kimmiches mm -hmm. and like, you know, players like that and Modric and proper ballers for proper teams, yeah? Bro, we need to upgrade in that position massively. And, he, and I agree with Curtis, bench player next season. We have to go Caicedo and Rice in midfield next season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, six and a half, man. Granite Xhaka. Now, I want two <laughs> ratings. I want two. <laughs> I want two ratings, yeah? I want I this season. This one, mate. I'll be yeah. back. <laughs> I, want, I want this season and I want his rating as an Arsenal player. This <laughs> season, I'd give Xhaka... You know what? I can actually I know what I was I give Xhaka an eight this season. Yeah. That was thinking that. Yeah. For this season, I will give him an eight. eight. Um he was our most consistent midfielder. You understand? Because Odegaard fell off at points. Xhaka, he kept going. Um the only game he looked poor was when he was forced to play and he was and you could <clears> see <throat> that he was ill. You could see he wasn't himself. But I think this year. Saved his Arsenal career for some fans. You get me? I think this season would have raised people's rating of his time at Arsenal. But that Liverpool game, when he lost his head against Trent Blood, yeah. that was the moment that brought Liverpool back into the game. The title wasn't lost, but that's when we allowed them back into the game. And then that was a defining moment. You get me? So he done well throughout the season. He let us down that one time, but that's the only blemish I could put on his record for this season. I don't think he put a foot wrong this season. I think he said the right things. 
I think when he actually came out and said things that he actually replicated it on the pitch. Um, so for this season, I give him an eight. His time at Arsenal, I could like that. I could, I would, Curtis, Gunner, we were both in the stadium mm. when he told man to fuck off and he threw the armband on the floor. And I just see that image. It just always pops in front of me when I want to give him his rating and, and even maybe improve his flowers because he has improved since that <laughs> moment. He did turn it around. Real talk, blood man doing up. Man doing a fucking Hulkamania, you get me? All he had to do was fucking take off his fucking shirt. All he had to do was do Curtis and just bust the team in. And you understand? It would have been a fucking rap, blood. Like, dye his hair blonde, boom, bang, bing. You get me? But I can't forgive him for that, blood. You get me? Like, we've had better players, better captains, not disrespect the club like that, not disrespect the badge, not disrespect the manager, the fans. And although we've done great this season, you didn't bring nothing home, blood. You understand? So this season, I give you an eight. Your Arsenal time, I give him a six. Gunnar, I'm going to you first, blood, because I know that you get me. You even, you. Call, I saw you called him a Felbanian, blood. I was trying to put a suit. <laughs> I fucking choked on my Zubi, blood. Like, <laughs> man one, said, one, I heard a Hellbanians. Man said, Felbanian, you know, like. I yeah, said, what's one, he one class? Of best pals is, is also called Granite and is also Albanian. Yeah. And even he don't claim him anymore. <laughs> like, he said no I'm <laughs> and then this season he got back on the train again mm -hmm. yeah, I was like no 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 you can't just pick it up and put it back down again no no no, <laughs> like, no, no, no. you're either with him or you ain't mate yeah but this season he's been quality yeah for maybe 80-85% of the season he's been top top class best season at Arsenal but and the funny thing is because of my boy Granite I was stupid enough to get 34 is yeah, you had his shirt <laughs> when he first... I remember, because no. fucking... When we went to fucking um, FA Cup final, Gunnar did his Granite shirt. <laughs> okay, I will never do that ever again. I apologise. I let myself down. I let my family <laughs> down. I let everyone down. <laughs> yeah. But he's, he's been good this season, man. He's been very good. Yeah, and I don't... I don't... I, I'm, I'm just going to be real with it, bro. Yeah, I'm going to give him an eight for the season. I think he's been top draw. Yeah, but again, he was another one of the leadership group that disappeared when it mattered. Yeah, when we signed the guy, I didn't know nothing about him. My mate told me I oh, was a top player, which is why I was stupid enough to get his number on the back. Um, <laughs> but we were expecting a guy that's coming in that could do 60 yard diagonal balls, he can score great goals, you know, he's a brilliant midfielder. And all we've seen is the guy just take the piss, literally. Yeah, like people have said to me, Oh, yeah, but he was playing out of position for six years. No, he weren't. He was playing in the position he played in, in Germany. Yeah. And let's not forget, right, all that Crystal Palace thing, great, fantastic. He was taking the piss that day, throwing the armband. But let's not forget, when he was at the World Cup, he was flirting with Roma. Yeah. Oh, Rome's a lovely city. Oh, yes, I'd love to live there. Then he didn't get his move. And then he comes back. We rip up his contract and go, there's a pay rise. Yeah. Now he's had one good season and wants to do one. Cool. I'll drive you, mate. Yeah. Like eight, eight for the season, Arsenal career free. Not good enough. Shocking. 35 million we paid for that. 100 grand a week for seven years, pretty much. You know, that's a lot of money. Yeah, I know it's not my money. But that's a lot of money. for And for the level of performance we've got out of him over seven years, I am not writing six years off for one half, three quarters of a good season. That ain't happening. Yeah, free. Guys? Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, Xhaka this season, definitely been his best season at the club, like different role, a bit further forward. My only thing with Xhaka, though, I'm still thinking like when the team have capitulated, has he really performed? I think he's disappeared as well. Anfield, he kind of, you know, stirred the pot, got Trent fired up and the crowd fired up. Um, City away, Southampton, all these games where we were dropping points. I don't feel like Xhaka did much either. He kind of you know, went with the rest of us. But, you know, I think he's got seven goals this year, which is a good year for a centre mid. And listen, it's it's probably a good way for him to go. So, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I'd probably, yeah, I'd probably, I'd give him a seven and a half because I do think there was a drop off at the end as well. And I put Partey down to a seven. I'll put him just above Partey. Overall, the time at the club for me, I've won a jacker out of Arsenal for years. I've wanted him out for years because 
Number one, we signed him ahead of Angolo Kante, who's one of the best <laughs> centre mids we've seen in a, in this whole generation. Do you know what I mean? And I know someone who works at Leicester, and he told me at the time that you know Arsenal. The only reason they didn't sign him was because of the agency fee. Kante's mm. agents wanted quite a big amount of money. They, well, they when, when the when the difference because Jaka, sorry to cut you off here. The, yeah. the, the, I think the difference between Jaka, which was a three million fee more, mm -hmm. but the overall package worked out about two million difference. Yeah, and yeah. Jacker was two million cheaper. So, and look at the look at the career. You know, Kante's won the World Cup, Champions League, Premier League. <laughs> He's won the lot. So, for me, Jacker, seven seasons. You've had one good season. Constant mistakes, constant yellows, red cards. You tell yeah, I gave him five. five. You know what? Yeah, I gave him a five. Fuck that. Yeah, five. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't remind. You don't know, 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 remind me, blood. Like I want on this guy's head on a stick. At some time, blood. So, yeah, five, blood. Big man thing, yeah, five, blood. See, that's why yeah. I like being with the man, then, blood, because the man, then, will make me see sense, like. I'll be there trying to be nice. But I'm like, whoa, troops, are you dumb, troops? Yeah, you're Bro, right. I, I, I heard lab, troops yeah, give five. him a six. I heard troops give him a six. I said, nah, he must have just woke up or something. I yeah, don't know yeah I just want a big split before we, before I come yeah. on here, blood. That's what I'm yeah. big Cali fan. Busting yeah, I, I, head. I, I, but yeah, 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 five. Apologies, people. Five, but as you were, Curtis. Yeah, I get I give him a free as well. I give him a free. I think he's been <laughs> six clark. Look I at the man he, them. Bro, 35 minutes. I hear it though. That's the thing. Like, 20... I'm not you see this in the Zinchenko team with Gunner. I'm like, well on. But yeah. I totally hear the Xhaka thing. Like for me, I give him because he he was part of the FA Cup winning team, two FA Cups. So mm. that's why I'd say, all right, I give you a five. You brought me two trophies, you played a part in both of them. So I give you the five in it, but then all the pussy old moves you did as well. That's why you can't go higher. Free, mm. I get a free though, in it because I mean you man's count with this guy, so I totally do get the free. Mm. Yeah, free man. It, like, and you got to think we paid thirty five million in twenty sixteen. That's probably like that's paying, big money them day. That's, that's like seventy million. eighty mil now. Seventy eighty mil. Right. You know and let's not forget this guy was part of the biggest embarrassment in Europe we've ever seen. Yeah, the four one in Baku, blood man got slapped yeah. like a bad oh, that, that, that as well. Red Sorry, two of our biggest embarrassments. He was he played both games in the in the ten two. He got booked in both games. Yep. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, fun man, time. shambles, shambles. Yeah, shambles. Like, listen, he weren't the only one in them in them games to play poorly, but. Yeah, like when when you're coming in and you're you're coming in over in Golo Kante, yeah, and we're like, okay, this guy call cool, thirty five mil, hundred grand a week. Then you do all of that disrespect. You've got he's got the he's got the I don't know the, the chip on his shoulder where he thinks he's a prime Pirlo. The arrogance is mm. outstanding. Yeah, and it's like your performance has been like a prime Jay Spearing. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like you think you're Pirlo? I give you Mark yeah. Noble. No, 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 no. Mark I raise Noble's him a little better. bit. I give you Mark, Mark Noble. Mark I like Noble. Noble's better, bro. Like, Mark Noble's more consistent. Yeah, that's yeah? true. Over Noble, a period yeah. of time, Mark Noble has consistently performed better than Granit Xhaka. Yeah? So, yeah. I, free, man. He's lucky to get a free because I wanted to give him nothing. But this season, the eight, that's the, probably the reason why I gave him a free because the other six, he was getting nothing. So? Uh, yeah. So, so, eight this season. I mean, this season stuff everyone saw it. He, he was immense pretty much available throughout the season he missed probably missed like one or two games did well goals assist he was in the mix career wise <clears throat> it's a complicated one so yeah the position change did do him did do him justice pulls up a score a lot i think he's for me he's floating around that five six range again that big incident it was, you know, big, big uh, black mark on his, on his, uh, on his time at the club, and I think that is the pivotal point that just changed his whole entire career for him. Uh, I, I see both sides on that thing. It's, it's a complicated, sticky situation, but yeah, no, nah, five, five, five for his career. Martin Odegaard, Gunner, <laughs> the floor My is mate. yours. My mate is waving at me. He's on Gibraltar Rock. Wait, <laughs> 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 he still holds that world record, by the way. 12 key passes in a game which have resulted in no goals, no assists. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure what key pass is, but there you go. It is oh what it is. It sounds God. good, doesn't it? Um, 15 goals. His best season ever in football. Um, I don't get the hype around him. I can't lie. Yeah, he's... he's when he, when you really don't rate him, innit, Vlad? Don't rate him. I rate I'm Odegaard good. highly. I can't lie, Vlad. I'm an Odegaard I'm guy, bro. When I, I see you going off, I'm like, fight. yo, Odegaard's the guy, you know, like. <laughs> no, Odegaard's the guy when it's going great. 
It's very similar to Ozil. Seem like an Ozil. I'll tell you what, yeah. I'll tell you what I will say, yeah. This is what we thought Ozil was gonna do. Yeah. Yeah, scoring goals, dictating games at times. He's been brilliant this season. I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna take the piss. He's been sick at times. Yeah, he's scoring goals, he's dictating the play, he's passing, he's crossing, he's getting stuck in. But there's other times where I look at him, Anfield, you're ducking out of two headers. Mm. Yeah, you're, you're ducking out of a fifth. Well, it was a 60 40 in your favor, and you're ducking out of it. Yeah, and it's like, why? Yeah, then you're the captain of the club. Yeah, all the PR around the guy. Oh, I, I get goosebumps and I sing that North London Forever as I lead the team out. Every time I do my watch dong, I go, yo, chat, let me know if he's singing it under his breath because I, I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of kind of thinking he ain't. Yeah, he's full of shit, bro. Yeah, but he's got great PR, which is why he's had eight professional seasons and only won one trophy, and everyone's hyped him into oblivion. Yeah, he's a tidy footballer, a very tidy footballer. His short game is decent. He hasn't really got much long game. Yeah, but his short, tippy tappy football, he looks like, he looks brilliant at times, and he has done this season. He scored a lot of goals this season, none of them against any decent teams, apart from Newcastle. Yeah, they're all against teams lower down the table. Away. Come on, man. Like, you could score against Tottenham this season. Let's be real. Yeah, Chelsea, I can score against them. Some of his goals have been quality. I'm not going to take it too far. Yeah, because he has scored some really good goals this season. Yeah, but I just want a bit more. And people are going to say, yeah, but Lee scored 15 goals. Yeah, that's great. But where was you when it mattered? You're passing Kev, um, you're passing Erling Haaland in to play Kevin De Bruyne in for 3-1. Or 3-0, sorry. Yeah, you're passing Nottingham Forest clean through on goal. You're hiding in some of the big games. You're getting overrun at times. Yeah, and I know it's not just him. Yeah, but when you're the captain, you're the leader, you're the you're the creative spark in midfield. He disappears when it matters, bro. And he's done that every single season he's been in professional football. Yeah, which is why Madrid binned him. He played more games on on loan for Arsenal than he ever played for Madrid. Yeah, and Madrid don't cock up often. Yeah, he's a good player. He's a very tidy footballer. He's a very good Premier League footballer. Yeah, but for me, I ain't having it with him, man. Like, listen, I've seen Burkamp. <laughs> I've seen Merson. Yeah, we've seen proper ballers. I've seen Sesk. Yeah, this guy ain't on that level. Yeah, he's good. Ultimately, I don't think he's good enough to win us a title. Yeah, I think we need to find someone on a level or find somebody that can compete for his spot and you can rotate him. Yeah, because there's certain games away from home against the bigger teams. The guy don't do it, man. Yeah, it's all well and good doing it against Bournemouth, against Southampton, and like giving it all of this and getting the crowd up, get grabbing the badge when you score an irrelevant goal against Chelsea. Like, come on, man. Like, nah, not for me, man. This season, I think he's been sick. I'll give him a nine. Before we move on, yeah, we have to big up Paramount Plus. Witness football history on Saturday, June 10th in the UEFA Champions League final, streaming live on Paramount Plus. The favourites, Man City, who are apparently an English titan. Um, I don't know about that, blood. You get me? Uh, are on the brink of destiny, which is true. They're one win away from their first ever Champions League trophy. Their opponent, Inter Milan, an Italian juggernaut on a surprise run of the ages. It's one historic football club battling against Monopoly Chester FC. For one legacy defining prize, the Champions League. Don't miss Man City versus Inter in the final Saturday, June 10th, streaming live on Paramount Plus. Or you can try it free at ParamountPlus.com slash live sports. So June 10th, streaming live on Paramount Plus, or go to ParamountPlus.com slash live sports. But I'd overall, I don't really have it with him, man. Yeah, and hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully next season he smashes it, bags 20 goals, breaks all the records and we win a title. Just don't see it. But this is what we wanted Ozil to be doing. And Ozil didn't. This guy is. But ultimately, when it matters, Ozil shrunk. This guy shrinks. I wouldn't even give him a nine. I think the only player worthy of a nine is Saliba. You get me? Um, Odegaard, the number eight, I'd give it eight. Um, I agree with you when you say he goes missing away from home. Um, I've been saying that for a while. Um, that's why I call him Ozil, because I remember Ozil being at the Emirates, bossing it week in, week out. We go away and he's nowhere to be seen. 
that easy. I, I remember Everton away, 83rd minute, and Ozil's ducking one on one headers at the back post with Ashley Williams. Odegaard has that in his game as well. Do you understand? So I don't know if that is. Me. Sorry to cut you. Hey, go on. I'm dropping a point hey. for that. Okay. <laughs> 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 hey, you, hey, you get me? But. I don't know if that's to do with this new generation of footballer because mm. respectfully, they're pussyos compared to the man that we look up mm. to, the man that both of you have behind you, Pauls, Burkamp, Henri, Vieira, Pires. Do you understand? These men are not, but even Pires went on bottle of 50 50 and he was, you understand, Mr. Oh no, I'm not going in there, but there, oh fuck it, we are in there, son. You understand? Also, being a Viking as well, you should be in there, blood. You man are warlords from early, blood. You understand? You should be in there head first doing the mad thing, blood. But he don't have that in his game. Um, leadership at times is questionable. You get me? Um, especially in like, like the Southampton game. I was at the Emirates and I didn't see nothing from him until the 88th minute when he shot from like 20 yards, 25 yards, bang, got us back in the game. But before that, like it was just pantomime. You get me? But he has been good. Um, one of our better players, one of our consistent players. I give him an eight still. Zah? Um, Odegaard. So so Lee Lee does bring up the, the very good points, the, the 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 big games, the games that we that we actually the games that I would have loved for him to actually show up and see him. He didn't. I mean, though there's there's probably like four or five of those, four or five of those type of games that that I wish he he did. But I mean, over the other 20. Over the other twenty, whatever, whatever, five minus over the other thirty-three, he was he was brilliant. I mean, 15, 15 16 goals. That that the number ten position, I think, was is, is pretty good. Uh, I would give Odegaard shit. I think I'll give him a nine because I mean those those thirty-three, those other thirty-three games, he was brilliant. So I'll give him credit. I'll give him credit for that. I wish he. I want him to show up more in those big games. I need him to show up more in those big games. So, so nine because he was brilliant in the other. Those thirty-three games carried him. If he was, if he was average in those, he would have been way lower, like a five or six or whatever. But yeah, nine. Curtis. <clears throat> yeah, o Odegaard. I mean, I call him Solar God, man, because he he likes it on a sunny afternoon at the end. Of the <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> you know what I mean, you don't want to, you don't want to go Everton and see a Nana and them man breathing heavy down your neck, fam. You know what I mean? You don't want that, but yeah, it, you know what? I, oh my God. I, I, I have to give him his credit. I, you know, I, I've had a lot of issues with Odegaard, but do you know what? I have to hold my hands up and say the numbers he's put up this year. I have to respect it. Seven that. assists, fifteen goals. They, they're like Fabregas numbers. What he was doing. Um, Still not sure whether he should be the captain, but do we have an obvious leader outside of him? Maybe not. Um, but I do think, yeah, I agree with what you're saying. City away, Liverpool away. He's not doing enough in them games. I'm seeing De Bruyne tear us to bits. I want to see Odegaard do that to them teams. Mm -hmm. um, but he is still young. You're hoping time he can grow into that role. So I give him... <clears throat> I give him 8.5. I think he's the most creative player in our team. I think everything goes through him. He, he's hardly ever injured. I think he can still go up another level, but I do think for 35 million, he is definitely value for money. I think I think he can become a top, top player if he carries on. So I give him I give him an 8.5. Gabriel Martinelli. Now for me. Bruv, just do it fast, yeah? Because if you do it slow, it's going to make more noise, isn't it? You're there like... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Watch, they're going to flag me again now. Oh, right. this is <laughs> what? You what do it fast what and not do it slow. <laughs> oh. What's your UK shade room called? Shade room, blood. Fuck you, mercy. I told them post. This is what abuse looks like, people. I like yeah. <laughs> I told them post me and my son in Denmark. They didn't post that, in it. The son of a bitches. You understand? <laughs> Domestic <Fucking> violence, yeah? <laughs> the only thing I beat up is the pussy. She can vouch for that. Yeah, <laughs> But Martin, Martinelli, for me, that's our player of the season. Mm. I think what he has done this season... Is unbelievable, bro. You get me. Saka gets the credit, 
and and he gets his flowers and he is due his flowers. But I think that's due to Saka being a Haylem boy through and through. Whereas Gabby, we brought him from the fa- from the favelas, so there's there's that bond, but it's not as strong as it is with Saka, where it's like watching your son grow through the ranks. You understand? It's kind of like. You get me? Martinelli was adopted. He's an adopted son. We have a lot of love for you, but you're not flesh and blood. You understand? But for me, that kid there, he's one of the most disrespected players in the Arsenal squad, in my opinion. The way Arteta treats him at times is fucking disgusting. You get me? Um, he when Whenever something's going wrong in the front line, Martinelli's always the one that gets pulled out. And he's always the one that's pulling his weight. He's always the one... <laughs> He's not the one that's making the thing fall off. You get me? Saka was dropping off from March. But then Martinelli was the one he's pulling out. Do you understand? Jesus is doing nothing down the middle. But Martinelli's the one he's pulling out to put Trossard into the left. Do you understand? It's always... He 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 always gets the short straw. You understand? And you look at the big games where he has performed. All of them, blood. You get me? His goal should have stood at Old Trafford away, blood. He's not a man that shies away in the big games. The big moments, that kid is there, bro. Do you understand? He should be wearing the 14. Not mm-hmm. fucking in Ketia blood. He is a, a worthy um, owner of that shirt, blood. Because he can carry it. You understand? Even under Emery, me and Gunnar were begging for this guy to be brought into the team. When Arteta first come in and he wouldn't play him. He would not play him, blood. We were, why are you not playing Martinelli? Why are you not playing? Then he put him in, he saved his clock. Now he's one of our key players, bro. You get me? Like, for me, he is the one, bro. I love Saka. I love that kid to death, bro. But Martinelli, blood, there's just like, when I saw him at Colorado, 2019, blood, I said, nah, this kid here, bro. It's him and Saka I saw that day. Yeah. I said, yo, this, I said, Saka will probably be the one that they'll wrap up in cotton wool. Hey, Len. I said, but this Martinelli kid, bro, yo, we need to protect this kid at all costs, blood. Thank you, Man United, for not signing him, blood. <laughs> Thank you very much. Whoever, what, 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 whatever one of your scouts said he ain't good enough, I owe him a drink, blood. You understand? I owe him a big bottle of champagne, blood. You get me? For me, Martinelli, I give him 10 out of 10, bro. Wow. I give wow. him 10 out of 10, bro. I don't think he done a thing. I don't what think he's done nothing wrong. What did you put like, in that split, bro? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I swear, like, I swear to God, bro. Like, for me, actually, nine out of ten because the only thing I got is, is Liverpool away when he put a, when, when he, did, he put too much power on the soccer ball. Yeah, and for me, that wasn't even a ball. He should have gone to that, Trossard. That, that, that is for me, it should have gone to Trossard. It wasn't even Saka. It was Trossard, and then that would have banged. Saka would have, you understand? Then you play yeah. it across the Saka. You Tough. pull out Allison. That's yeah. the ball. Obviously, I'm thinking about Perez. And Henri, and yeah, that's, I'm thinking about that. Even Fabregas, to an extent, we would have gone that way and then pulled it across. Martinelli, yeah. he's so forward thinking, he just thought, I'm going to punch it. You understand? But with experience, he'll learn that Trossard was actually the ball. So, yeah, nine out of mm. ten. Mm. Yeah, Mar- Martinelli for me, man, I, I just think he's he's special. He's, he's probably my favourite player at Arsenal, to be honest. Um I love Saka and I get the hype. And like you said, hey, Lendon, he's a star for England. I actually think Martinelli's ceiling is higher than Saka's, to be honest. Because, I've, you know, I've seen him rip Trent, rip Cancelo. He, he's fearless. He's quick. I think he's unpredictable. You know, he's seen Trossard come in in January and think, yo, I'm under pressure here. They just signed a Belgium international. No problem, mate. Trossard, you know, you're going to hold bench again, you know. And 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 Martinelli, 15 goals this year. Went to the World Cup with Brazil when people didn't think he was going to get called up. He can play through the middle. He can play on the left. I just think he's outstanding. Klopp said it from day one, didn't he? He said, this kid's special. You know, he, he probably was eyeing him up to get him to replace Mane at Liverpool. So, and like you said, I think at times... I'm sitting there going, okay, Saka's got to come off and Martinelli's coming off. I'm like, what's, what game is he watching, uh, Martel? Do you know what I mean? He always never takes Saka off. Martinelli gets dragged all the time. But I'd give I'd give him a 9 out of 10. People saying Rashford's had the season of his life. You know, Man United fans going crazy. He has had a good season, but Martinelli scored two goals less than him and, and came out of the team at one period when Trossard was playing. So he would have probably scored more than Rashford. So... I think he's an amazing player. Glad he signed the new deal. And yeah, my nine out of 10, Martinelli. 
I know. I agree, man. When when you've got Ronaldinho, Ronaldinho, one of the greatest of all time, saying this guy is an elite level talent, is special. Yeah, you don't get better praise than that. The only, the only way you get better praise than that is if R9 says it. Mm. Yeah. And this guy was training with Brazil when he was in the fourth tier of Brazilian football. And he was training with the first team. Yeah. And the funny thing is, I know, I know a journalist, yeah, from South America who gave me the heads up on Martinelli. He said, Yo, bro, this guy is the biggest talent coming out of South America right now. Yeah. And then we see him under Emery. He bagged 10 in 10 under Emery. All types of goals as well, man. Left foot, headers, everything. Yeah, and then the way this manager treated him was nothing short of a disgrace at times, man. Like, he was sat on the bench for six months. Why? Like, and that was when we were, like, eighth in the table and that. It's like, mate, if you had played we're this playing guy... playing fucking Willian and these pricks. Do you know what mm. I'm saying? Yeah, and it's like, bro, like, this this guy, yeah, what I like about him is when... You, you mentioned a minute ago, the big games, he normally turns up, he does stuff. Yeah, he's fearless. Yeah, the big games, it's like he, he gets even better. It's like, this is my time now. Yeah, yeah, every this time is what I I'm built for. At Anfield pissed me off. It did wind me up. I nearly smashed my Mac up, mate. Mm. I was like, that's mm. that's the biggest what if of the season. Because mm. if we nick that win, we're probably going to win yeah. the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. At 2 1, yeah. the title was at the Emirates, bro. It was, it was. Yeah. I'll tell you for free, blood. Because we beat yeah. West Ham, we beat Southampton, and then we probably mm. go up to Etihad and get a draw. Oh. Exactly. Yeah, and we probably would have won the title. Yeah. yeah, and worst ways, we would have took it down to the death. Yeah, yeah. but. In that game, I know every time we go to Anfield, he's got he's got Trent on skates, mate. Every yeah. single blood. time, cooks yeah. him. Trent's trying to go into the first row, blood. It's <laughs> <laughs> Jade. Do you want to come on for forty five minutes, lad? <laughs> <laughs> always does it in the big games. Always turns up. Always performs, whether he scores or not. You go, wow, he's on it today. And it's almost like the the inner R nine comes out. It's like, yo, this is my stage. Yeah. Whereas we don't necessarily always see that with Saka. Mm. Yeah, but. Uh, I'm not going to give him a 10. I know you gave him a nine afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, um, I remember that Liverpool moment. Yeah. That, that's and jarring. that's the only blemish I can put on him. That is There's jarring. nothing else. That is jarring. Sometimes I do think like he needs to get his head up more. He always runs mm. with his head down. Yeah. 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 Whether he's already clocked it, but then football moves so quick. You can you could clock it, but your head down. Now the whole pitch has changed in a mm -hmm. second. Yeah. So he needs to get his head up a bit more. That's the only fault I'll say about this lad. This guy is a special player, man. And for me, yeah, we're lucky to have him right now because I'm pretty sure he, he'd slot straight in at Real Madrid. He can play up front, he can play right, he can play left. I know they've got Vinny, who is the real star boy, by the way. But yeah, man, I, I'm going to give him a nine. I think I think him and Saliba, nine. Nine, man. Mm. Yeah, I think he's been sick. I can't lie. I love this kid, man. Zaza. Yeah, you know me, Zaza. I'm, I'm MDL blood. Martin Lady Defence League, bro. Forget the EDL. Zaza <laughs> is in the EDL, the Eddie Defence League. I am in the MDL, the Martinelli Defence League, blood. You get me? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, nine, nine, nine all around. I think he had a, he had a brilliant season. I, I, uh, out of our front line, I, I think he was the best out of, uh, out of uh, all, our, all our players. Even the thing is, what I like about Martinelli is that even when things aren't working, he still, he still finds a way. So even if it's his natural game, his natural way of playing isn't working out and gets marked out of a game or something, he still finds a way to be effective in the contest, which is which is huge, which is huge. You need that. So uh, nine, nine for me. I think brilliant season, brilliant goal scoring season. Hopefully, hopefully he takes it, uh, he takes it to to the <clears throat> to the next level next next year, and really does you know really does put up uh, put up numbers that rival the. The, the the top 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 elite guys because that's where that's where he does he belongs nine uh, nine for me for Martinelli. We've got two more left. Well, three more, and then the manager, Bakayo Saka. This one's complicated uh, for me. This one is complicated for me. Bakayo. Um, yeah. Do you know what? I, I'm gonna start. I think I think he deserves his flowers before we say anything else because you gotta remember, you know, he's still a young kid, really back-to-back -back player of the years in a team that's been shambolic at times. Mm -hmm. And um, he's committed his future. You know, I know he's been paid well and, and all of that, but I'm sure, you know, Mahrez is, what, 32, 33? He could have possibly gone City and played right wing. He could have gone Madrid, maybe, challenge Rodrigo. I'm sure big clubs would have took Saka. Um, and I think now Saka's got that much respect from other teams that everyone puts two players on him now. And that's the point where I think you find out if you're a good player or a great player. Because Vinny, you put two players on Vinny, he's going to deal with both of them. Do you know what I mean? He's that good. And you've seen it with other wingers over the years. 
Saka now, for me, has to learn to adapt his game a little bit more. I think at times he's a little bit predictable. Um, and towards the end of the season, he just looks like he's run out of steam, which I do think you have to point at the manager because you know, I saw a stat that I think he's played every game, ex every started game. every game for two seasons apart from one. Yeah, something. the only yeah. Arsenal player, I think, to do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's... He came, he came on in that. I think that was Leeds, wasn't it? He, was he came Leeds. on, yeah. Yeah, yeah so on. we we've all looked at him this season and said, put him on the bench, you know, Nelson. You're now you're trying to give Nelson a contract, but you don't want to give the guy a start. So, yeah, look, Saka towards the end of the season, it's no doubt that he's... I don't know if he's ran out of steam or fell off. Something ain't quite right, but I'd still give him an 8 out of 10. I think he's got 14, 15 goals, 11 assists. Still been one of our best players, hardly ever injured. He's got Ben White at right back. I, I forgot to say that with Martinelli as well. I mean, he's got Zinchenko behind him. We don't <laughs> that ain't a great help to him as a left winger. There's so. no overlap whatsoever. There's no none. Overlap. It's really, Jesus helps Martinelli so much because he's yeah. not an out and out. He'll come across, and that's where Martinelli gets there. his joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I give Saka an eight. I think Martinelli has been slightly better. Um, but yeah, it's still a very good season for him. Still, it needs it needs competition. I think we need a new right winger to put pressure on. So, but yeah, good season, eight out of ten. I'd give Saka a seven. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think, I think he fell off since. Jeez. I think he, bro. I think he fell off since March, bro. You get me? Um, hey, but when he was cooking, he was. Was cooking. it tiredness? I don't know. But there's times when he shouldn't have been starting games. He should have been brought off. You get me? Is that down to the manager? I'm not sure. Um, I just think... I think Martinelli was more effective than Saka this year, blood. You get me? Um, I think Martinelli was more consistent than Saka this year as well, blood. You get me? There was times when Saka was unplayable, but Saka also took time to warm up into the season. Saka never really got going until early, like late September, early October. That's when he started to... Before then, it was Martinelli, Jesus, Odegaard, like Partey, Zinchenko. <clears throat> I won't really talk about Saka to October times. You understand? Then he came into his own, had a fantastic World Cup, came back, done well. But then, like, I think from March, he's he's been very, very poor, blood. You get me? I think he's had a fantastic season. Very happy with him signing the contract because we should be building a team around players like that. Mm -hmm. You get me? Offending off all the... Opposition because, like Curtis said, enough man would have been stiffing around him. Pause. But <laughs> yeah, for me, yeah, for me, I give the for me, I give Saka a seven blood. Gunner, this is going to surprise and amaze everybody. I think he's our player of the season. Yeah, yeah, I will really talk. No, yeah, no, I'm, really I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give him a nine and a half. Yeah, the, a wow. Half. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a nine and a half. And I've been so critical with this guy, man, the last eight games. Yeah, I've been like, why is he starting him again? Why this? Why that? Like, get him off, sub him. He's doing nothing. But let's not forget, yeah, this boy is 21 years old. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I know I don't want to go down this old... Eight. If you're old enough, you're good enough. Yeah, and if you're good enough, you're old enough, et cetera, et cetera, yeah? yeah. This guy's carried Arsenal on his back for three years in a row. Yeah. Ultimately, yeah. we haven't won anything in them three full seasons. But he has always stepped up and got better and better and better every mm -hmm. season. Yeah, when you look at the players that have been here for a long time, how many players have progressively got better in every season of the three? Not many. Yeah, this guy is 21. Yeah, people are saying, oh, he's on 300 grand, it's a lot of money. Bro, if, you, if you're looking at his output, he's got the best out or one of the best outputs in Europe. Yeah, and he's fallen off two seasons on the spin in the last eight games. I don't blame him for that. I blame the manager for that. Yeah, because the manager should be giving him competition. He should be playing Reese. <coughs> yeah, Reese is sat on the bench. Yeah, why can't we play Jesus on the right and put Eddie up front? Or put Trossard up front and put Jesus on the right? Jesus did right wing for Man City. Like, why can't we do that? Why can't we put Martinelli on the right, Trossard left, yeah, and Jesus up front? Yeah, so I, I think he's been unbelievable, man. Like, honestly, he's such a good player. Yeah, I don't think he's elite at anything. Yeah, but he's extremely good at a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and and he's he's definitely he's definitely a smart kid as well, man. You can you can you can tell, yeah, just by all the stories that are coming out about the contract and all of that. Bro, he's here for two more seasons. If we win nothing, he's gone. Mm. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah. And it, it wouldn't surprise me one bit if he ends up at Man City when Mauro's goes. Yeah, he's the ideal Mauro's replacement. 
is the ideal Morris replacement. Morris ain't quick, neither Saka. Yeah, Morris is technically sound, so is Saka. Yeah, Morris has output, so does Saka. Yeah, Morris can hold the ball, so can Saka. Morris can spin you, so can Saka. Yeah, I'm not saying he's as good as Saka, but some of the fundamentals that Morris has, Saka has as well. He would be a perfect pet player. Yeah, perfect pet player. Yeah, everyone said like, and I was in this thought process as well. Everyone was saying, oh, I'd be a great Liverpool player. No, I disagree. I think he'd fit into Man City just like that. Yeah, I think he'd be outstanding. Yeah, and I think the way this manager has overused him and then Gareth Southgate plays him every game, which I get. Yeah, Gareth mm. Southgate only has a handful of games every year. Why wouldn't you want Saka playing? You want to win football matches. You want to keep your record going. You want to keep your yeah. job. Your job, yeah, yeah. But the manager of Arsenal... <laughs> Arteta needs to look at himself and say, yo, I probably should have dropped him in that game or I should have subbed him in that game. Like The other week he played 96 minutes. I'm like, as he's still on the fucking pitch? Like, how? I can't remember. I think it was, maybe it was Southampton. No, it was Forest. No, no, it was before that. There was a game where he lasted the whole game, mate. It might yeah, have been Southampton. Was, yeah, I think it was Southampton. Because he been scored the equaliser. Yeah, there's been a few games where I'm like, how's this guy still on the pitch? Yeah, and it's like... Now, you know, I'm getting Saka at eight still. Yeah, I gave him an eight. Yeah, I gave him an eight. I gave him a seven. I gave him a seven. Yeah, I gave him an eight. Yeah, I gave him an eight. But it's not his fault. Yeah. And it's true, yes. I'll take a run him into the ground. Like, I remember yeah. I, like, me and Zara being watching him. I'd be like, why is he not bringing him off? Like, we're yeah. five nil up. Bring off Saka. Exactly. We're four nil up. Bring him off, bro. We you keeping yeah. him on for, blood? Same, like? same with Zinchenko, though. But the difference that I, and the, I hold them in different accounts, yeah, because... Mm. Zinchenko's got the experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zinchenko's 25, 26, whatever he is. He's played for City. He's won trophies. He's won titles. Yeah, captain of his. So country. you have to have, and he's captain of. You have to have the know-how. Whereas Bakayo Saka's come through the academy, played left wing back under Emery, smashed it. <laughs> played right wing, left wing, false nine, CM, at, like attacking mid. He's played everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's played right wing back. He's played every, pretty much every position. Yeah, twenty one years old. That boy has mm -hmm. carried Arsenal on his back mm -hmm. for three years. Yeah, and what can he do, man? He's not going to say, I don't want to play, boss. He wants to play football. Yeah, yeah so that's on the manager. Yeah, and big all... managers make yeah. big decisions at big moments. Yeah, and ultimately, that manager has run him into the ground. That guy, yeah, I'll tell you now, if we keep overplaying him, that boy will be finished by the time he's 25. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll be finished. Yeah, look at mm -hmm. Michael Owen. Yeah. The one thing Even I'll say to an extent, because when he hit 29, yeah, really. he started to slow. Bro, when you look at Ronaldo, he's just fucking turn, Ronaldo. That late. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Ronaldo, Messi, they're still going, bro. That's like, crazy. That's Rooney. Rooney hit 29. His hair was gone. Get that. Was gone. Get that. His whole thing was gone. Colleen nearly left blood. Fact, the Lord, mm. you never blood. Everything yeah. was going mad at 29. When a man wanted to go Man City and them thing there, he was losing his shit, blood. Yeah, but but this is my point with it. Yeah, it's like Saka. Yeah, bro, that that guy's such a mm -hmm. a cool guy, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. I get why they want to build the PR and star boy and all of that and dress it up because he's an academy boy. Everyone loves the love story. He's come mm. through the academy like Tony Adams did back in the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Ashley Cole did to a certain degree. Yeah. Right. We love an academy graduate that's going to come and smash it. Yeah. Right. But he needs to, he needs to stop overplaying him, man. Yeah. yeah. But fair play to Bukayo, man. That, that boy has just fucking leveled up every season he's been in the first team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's very rarely injured. And even when he is injured, he still goes out and performs. Yeah. And the last eight games this season, the last eight games last season, he disappeared. Yeah, but I don't blame him for that. That's the manager, man. Yeah, the manager yeah. should know that from last season. Zah? Yeah. No, no, I mean, I... I uh... So everyone knows my sentiment. Everyone knows my sentiment with Saka. I mean, I got killed for the past two years when I when I was telling people that I, that mm. I prefer him. Yeah, you've been a big Saka defender. Yeah, been been told him that. You've been on the front line from early. So, yeah, no, I, I, I think he's done. This season, I think he's done. He's done brilliant. However, so why why I brought up that Martinelli being effective even when his game isn't going correct, it was also that that point has been applied to Saka. Unfortunately, he doesn't fall into that category where when he's cooking, he's cooking. When we were to a certain point of this season, I mean, if we had stopped, if we had, if we had done this like a month or two ago, if we had done this whole thing a month or two ago, I would have been giving him a 10 today. I would have been giving him a 10 because he when he's cooking, he's cooking. Unfortunately, when he's figured out, when he has figured out, he doesn't have... He doesn't have ways to stay as effective in the game as well as Martinelli does, which is why I am going to go with an... I gave Martinelli a nine. I'm going to go with an eight 
for 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 Saka because he was figured out at the end of the season. They started doubling up on him. Uh, I mean, it doesn't help too when you when you when you don't have a fullback that 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 doesn't overlap as well. Then also now these recent games we we put Partey on that side, so the inversion is happening on his side too. So there's no there's no grace for him to 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 really uh, to get an overlap over there. But apart from that. Brilliant season. Goal scoring record was brilliant for, for a winger this year. Eight eight for soccer. <clears throat> Gabi Jesus finally, blood. Now, for me, this, 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 this might be the stickiest one pause for me. Yeah. Mm. This might be because yeah. the start of the season, I sound harsh. Up until he got injured, he was quality blood. Do you understand? But since he's come back from injury, he spends more time out the box than in the box. Do you understand? Like, if you don't want to play striker, brother, think my thing. If you don't want to play striker, brother, tell Arteta, I don't want to play striker. Because there were times there was nothing in the box, bro. My man's coming into the midfield. I'm seeing him at, I'm seeing him just in front of Zinchenko on the left. I'm like, bro, you're, you're everywhere apart from in the middle, blood. Like, just us trying to go in. So no sorry to in cut there. you off, troops. Here, don't you think it's kind of ironic that both the players we signed from City are never in positions they're supposed to be in? <laughs> Facts, like <laughs> uh, it's true. The <laughs> Checo spends more time in midfield than than left back, and Jesus spends more time on the wing than in the box. Blood, do you understand? Mm. Like the goal scoring as well. Like I remember Zaha went out with Chess and said twenty in the league. I said he's smoking. Yeah, I remember that, man. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah. Uh, I mean, bro, Curtis was there. Game. That was Orlando. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Orlando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To a man's head in Florida, blood. You know, the humidity is high in Florida. The <laughs> humidity busting I made because <laughs> when he said that, I turned like, have one. <laughs> Yo, you'll get 10 to 15 if you're lucky, blood. And he got 17, 17 goals and assists in the Premier League. Um, You look at Haaland. Uh, you look at Kane. Uh, you look at Salah, um, they're doing, you know I mean, 20 goals in the league, let alone 17 goals and assists in the league. You get me? Um, but when we were cooking, that, that 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 must be the fucking line of the fucking podcast, blood. When we were <laughs> cooking, <laughs> Jesus was, real talk, Jesus was, title right there. I swear to God, when we were cooking, you understand? Yeah, yeah. Luckily, I don't eat fish, so there was no fish getting fried around yesterday, you see me? <laughs> but, when we were cooking, Jesus was like the conductor. You understand? He, he him and Odegaard and Partey were the three that was like Saliba, Partey, Odegaard, Jesus. It was that was the spine, and it was just going through all of them, blood. Pause. You understand? So I gave him a seven and a half. Mm. I can't give him an eight because you get me, not enough goals, and the amount of time he was injured. So yeah, I, I gave him a seven for his first season as an Arsenal player. Za? Yeah, this one, this this is my biggest disappointment of the season. Cause because that I, I I fell for the PR. I, I thought this was this was the signing that was gonna I don't know how you fall for the PR when you're with I, me more time, blood lad. I mean, man, bro, this PR was good. Man City, man coming from Man City, <laughs> he's, won, he's won four titles. Yeah, he, I was being told he's a winner, he's 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 a leader in that in that thing. Pep was Pep was also doing his thing. Oh, we're gonna miss Jesus, he's a brilliant player. Yeah, well, he man. remember Pep did say that we cannot replace Aguero, and now they've got Terminator crying, crying. Oh, yeah. So I mean I I fell for that I fell for it which is why at pre and then also I mean that Chelsea game at preseason and the the and the what's it called the the was it the Everton. other one and it's it was just it I it's I fell for it I I expected 25, 25, 20, 25 in that range <laughs> and at some point at the beginning of the season I kind of thought that you know what <laughs> I was gonna be dancing on people's graves towards the end of the season. Then the big thing in football, man, your best ability is availability, injury, mm. even without the injury, too. I, I I don't know if he, he even would have come anywhere near the 20 to 25 range, To I don't know. I'm not too sure. Can I, can I just say that phrase that you just used, yeah? Terry Flewis said that to me the other day. I was like, bro, just because you're available, yeah? Marcus Rashford's availability is insane, yeah? But he's ain't scored, he's scored two goals. <laughs> yeah? So just because you're available doesn't mean you're doing it, yeah? But then you can have a player that's not available for three quarters of the season 
Yeah, but then in the quarter of the season, they have a really sick output, which is better than the player that's available all season. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. No, but, I, but I get what you're saying. I'm not trying to mug you off. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah like, no, no. You know, the, go on. Sorry, go on, go on. No, I completely, I completely get, I, I get where you're coming from too. I mean, it's, it's what, what's the point of having? I mean, no disrespect to this guy, but I literally had just saw his Instagram post. But like, Carl Jenkins, with, with you know, he was always available kind of deal. And <laughs> it's when, when you're a player like that, it's like, all right. But I mean, you, you want your good, your big, big players, big players available. And I mean, Jesus was disappointing, man. Jesus was, Jesus was disappointing. And even his, I thought he was, I thought he was more of a killer too. I thought he was more of a killer than he actually was in the box. And now, now I realize that it takes him. He's kind of, he kind of reminds me, kind of reminds me kind of like, like Giroud takes, mm, you know, needs, needs yeah, man. five, six chances to score one goal. Mm-hmm. Kind of so it's, mm. it's. But I mean, his general play, uh, that dude, I'm taken back to that moment. I forgot what game it was. We're wearing the pink kit, that run that Bournemouth he away. Yes, yeah, when he picked yeah. up the ball from yeah. like halfway line, yeah, ran yeah. through the whole team. No center of gravity. Bro, we were cooking. So, mm. Jesus, six for me. Six, six Oof. for me. He missed too big of a chunk of the season. Then also, well, Curtis, when, he came back, when he came back, he wasn't playing. Right. Curtis, you go higher or you go lower? You must go higher, innit? I go high up, but yeah. uh, do you know what it is like? I don't know. Strikers Union, I'm I'm trying to defend him a bit here. Yeah, because Curtis, I striker, and I say, you know, that boy, I got to defend the thing. You know what I mean? Listen, <laughs> Whereas me, know... I'm like, hey, boy, finish your pussy clock, did I? Yeah, you're just, you're just <laughs> destroying it. Yo, listen, the evidence suggests no striker thrives under Arteta, right? Aubameyang went from golden boot winner to just giving him away and then we we'll see what happened <laughs> when he went to Barcelona. Yeah, yeah that it. is true. Lacazette. He won a title again this season, he played eight yeah. minutes. And then he won a title. <laughs> Bro, Lacazette just scored 25 goals. I know it's Oof. the French league, but he scored four goals for us last season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And one, and one was deflected. <laughs> and one were... <laughs> oh my one God. was deflected, okay. blood. So, listen, I'm telling you now, as a striker, you don't want to do what Jesus is doing. That's an instruction. Like, there's no way Lacazette wanted to run all over the pitch. Yeah. They want to be in the area scoring goals. This manager doesn't want his striker in the penalty area. He wants them moving everywhere and linking up play and all of that. I kind of fell for the Jesus hype a little bit as well. He was Brazilian. I just thought, yeah, like, Lacazette's gone. We got an... But he's not, he's not a goal scorer, man. He's not a killer like that. He's a link-up striker. He'll get you 10 goals. He'll get you 8-9 assists. He's like a Firmino. He's like a Firmino, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's like a Firmino. So, for me, the problem with Jesus is the question that we had last summer, as a fan, I've still got that question. Like, I still think we need a striker this summer. Mm-hmm. I would have probably gone for... Tony Maybe was like, for me. I would have gone for Ivan too. Yeah, because awesome, man. We're not getting a man like nah, that. Ah, yeah, I'm realistic, blood. Ed, Ed, Edu can't go to Naples and negotiate. They'll kidnap him. They won't even you let him in. You know what I mean? He, he can't even come to Border Force. Hey, <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> They'll They'll off, kidnap him. <laughs> you know, Edu can't negotiate big deals. <laughs> like, so he can't speak Italian, Naples. blood. You get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> Ivan Tony, man, you know, he's got a ban. You know, we're PR. They ain't signing Ivan Tony with a betting thing. Yeah, we're PR FC, blood. With PR, so you're not seeing no bad man coming at our club. No, <laughs> no. They're, they're good boys, man. That sit at the front of the class, not at the back of the class. Yeah, the the man there. Give me, they got their tie on and them thing, yeah. blazers all pressed. <laughs> We're at the back of the class, like feet up and them thing, their trainers on. You yeah. understand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wants being nice boys in his yeah, team. nerds, blood. Yeah, you can see Saka, you can see Saka was that. Uh, Suckers a nerd, blood. Respect yeah, me, yeah, like, yeah. It's good to be a nerd as well, like. But yeah, of course. It's a nerd, blood. You get me? Yeah, yeah. So, so Jesus, Jesus, man. Like you said again. Like you said, when we was playing well, he was a big part of it. The link up was mad. Them turns, the celebrations. You got his celebration back off Eddie and all that. But the, dance. the brother, the brother, just I don't know, man. That injury finished him, didn't it? To yeah. Be Three months. These man put a documentary out. About his recovery. On his recovery. Oh, oh, man came yeah, back I know how many documentaries we could have had about Percy and DRB if we were doing this. <laughs> how many, how many did we have this season? We had like, we had like five. I we, had, like we, had, we had Hayland. We had yeah. Hayland. We had, the, we had the injury. <laughs> man put out a documentary. He's man making man up their own fucking Amazon Prime thing, blood. I don't know what's going on that flipping Coney, blood. Listen, uh, to me, Pep. Pep knew what he was doing when he sold his Jay yeah. in chat. He, he, he wasn't worried about it. It didn't, it didn't concern him. So clearly wasn't blood. It's a, uh, it's it's tough with Jesus. Like six point five, maybe. I just 
he don't score. He don't score enough goals, does he? Yes, he's not in the penalty. Man, yeah, like, I'm, I'm yeah, giving him six point five for the work rate. Like, you're, yeah. I love his commitment. I love his work rate. But I'm thinking, Van Dijk, Lissandro. I don't think they're turning up, and they're they're scared of Jesus. We're scared of Haaland. We're scared mm -hmm. of Kane. You know, you give them man one chance, they're celebrating. Mm -hmm. Jesus needs three, four chances to score, man. So I love the work ethic. I love, but it's. it's I don't think it wins you the league. I think you've got to get someone else in to challenge him. Um, so, yeah, 6.5, man. Connor. So, what's that? 6, 6.5? And I'm the highest so far. Put a bum, buckler. I'm yeah, the highest yeah. in the room. I'm normally the highest in the room anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, blood. But That's right, you'll, yeah. be changing that. you'll be changing that score in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, no, no. I'm staying on seven, blood. He's been up seven, seven, up. No, no, no. <laughs> Seven, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. Yeah, that one I'm certain on. Okay. Well, I, I'm I was gonna, gonna go lower, but I think seven's a fair score. Okay, we'll be on six whole... in a minute because I'm gonna go five. Yeah, I think well, he's been Buck average. Clark. Yeah, he's not done anything that I didn't expect him to do. Like we, we know he's a very good, good, gifted footballer, but we know he ain't gonna score a load of goals. We know that he needs three, four chances to score. We know that. Um, he's not the main striker. We know that he's better on the wing, hence why he's always on the wing. You know, and this is why Pep let him go. Yeah, because you ain't getting on the wing over Mares, Foden, Bernardo, um, or Grealish. Grealish now. Yeah, and then they've got Alvarez, which they signed in the summer. Who would you rather have up front, Alvarez or Jesus? I'm taking Alvarez. Alvarez. I'm taking Alvarez. I like Jesus, and I, I was gassed when we signed him. Yeah, and I think he is a very good footballer, but I said in the summer when we signed him, that ain't enough. We need a proper striker. Yeah, because this guy's output is not elite. And if you want to beat Man City, you have to have a striker that's going to bag. Yeah, because we've got Odegaard bagging. We've got Saka bagging. We've got Martinelli bagging. Yeah. Jesus, cool, he scored 11. I predicted he scored 12. I said, when everyone was getting gas like this, I, I said 10 to 15. Goals, I, yeah. I said 10 to 15. So yeah. I was bang. I, I bang said on. he scored 12 and he scored 11. Yeah, and I know he's been injured. Yeah, I know he missed 12 games or whatever it was, but... But even before that, you could see he was yeah, more there's, doing there's the... He was, he, he, doing up, he was doing up link-up chances. TV, blood. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he misses a lot of big chances. Yeah, and if that was a Bamiyang missing these big chances... People would be cussing be him off. Him. Mm -hmm. They'd yeah, they'd him be on him. It's like a mm -hmm. Z missing him, they'd be on him. Yeah, but because Jesus buzzes around and he's all mm. singing, all dancing, he's there, he's on the right, he's on the left, he's in midfield, he's dribbling, like... People were like, oh, my God, yeah, this is great. When the reality is your output's not that great. Yeah, but we knew his output weren't great because the highest league season, scoring-wise, was 14, which was the mm -hmm. same as Lacquer. Mm -hmm. yeah. These men wanted Lacquer out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we all wanted Lacquer out at some point. Yeah, but this guy... I did it. Like a blood clot, <laughs> <laughs> no, You're just trying to keep that plug for when you go Leon, yeah? Bad <laughs> business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but ultimately we needed a needed a killer up front i want ivan tony still now right now i'd take him because he'd cut he'd, he'd be he'd land in january which would be a fantastic signing to kick you on for the rest of the second half of the season yeah, yeah. when exactly. i when i said that oh troops you're mad why am i mad he's a january yeah, signing bro just get him now this boy for the fucking longest yeah yeah like since he was in the championship i'm like this guy's a killer i've got mates that know him as well like proper good mates that are friends okay. with him. my boy granite yeah. Uh, oh the shit. Runner. Yeah, they're they're proper boys with him. They go Marbella with him, him and Aaron. Yeah, like fuck him. They're on it, man. Yeah. Oh, so it was, it was them man that filmed the fuck Brentford video. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, he's a Liverpool fan as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Heard his scouts. Yeah, but you know what the mad thing is? Yeah, he's he's banned from football in terms of playing. Don't yeah. stop him training. Exactly. Yeah. So, so we yeah. go and fit, sign bro. him. We'd get him at a little bit of a cheaper rate right now because of all the controversy, mm -hmm. yeah, and they're moaning up to all of these things. You get him for about 50 mil, 40 mil, 45. You get That's him our training, budget. Day in, day out, day in, yeah. day out, day in, day out. And then he's ready to land in January. January. Bro, that yeah. is literally... Could you imagine going to the Champions League, like, second round stage out yeah. of the group? Yeah, Tone is coming in. FA Cup starting. Tone is coming in. Yeah. You're in the running. Tone is coming in. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. That's gonna right, the latter stages of the League Cup. You the feel me? You got Jesus, you got Martinelli, you got Saka, you got Odegaard, you got Ivan Tony. Trust yeah, on. Trust Can he play? Exactly. Can he play on, for man. the under 23s during his suspension? No, nah, he no, can't. No, right? no, nothing. No, he can't no, do no, nothing. Can't. can't. Oh, he's a top Feet baller, up. man. Top baller. And do you know what it is with him? Yeah, I think he gives you something completely different. Yeah, bro. 
Look at him yeah, like because you know what? When you bring off Jesus and put on Inketia, it's the same fucking shit, blood. Mm -hmm. It's all, not a different. All, it's not a different angle, lad. It's the same. Yeah, blood. Yeah, they're all like five nine, five ten, five whatever. Yeah, none of them are six plus. This yeah. guy's got the physical presence. Is is build up play is fucking underrated. Yeah, his passing's underrated. Look at him his at the SEA. Play is unbelievable. Yeah, he bullies people. Yeah, man. He bullied, man. He bullied he, Diaz. You want to sit back and defend against City? Boom, stick it up to Tony. He'll win the ball. He'll nod it onto Mbwemu. Yeah, and fucking other players. Yeah, but he He's can also score man. and he can score penalties, headers, left foot, right foot. Yeah, and if he ain't scoring, he's a presence in the box. Score free kicks as well. Bro, we need to sign that bad man in the summer. Yeah, but we won. Yeah, we I've all the journalists that I've seen so far are saying we're not even looking at a striker. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's worrying. Yeah. I think the only yeah, one is like man. is Diaby, and he's a winger, no? Yeah, yeah, right. Winger. Yeah, bro, and I've yeah, seen enough of him, mate. I watched him the other week. I'm not with that. Promo. Like I've I've watched a couple of Bundes. I'd rather fucking stick with Reese Blood. Bro, that guy's yeah. first touch is shocking. Lukaku yeah, settings, bro. Shocking. Yeah, but it's what it is, man. We're, we're gonna we're gonna do exactly what I expect us to do this summer. We're gonna get linked to all the big names. We're gonna get linked to everyone. We're gonna get linked. We're linked to a Notto at Leeds today. We're linked to Elise. We're linked to Rice, Mount, Caicedo, Zubamendi, Onana. I could, I'm gonna do transfer videos on this shit and milk it all summer. <laughs> yeah, and I know yeah. the, fact the reality is when I'm dropping three transfer videos a day of different players, we're signing two players, three players. Yeah, we'll sign a big name and we'll sign a couple of little filters, a little like f squad fillers. Yeah, that's it. Bro, we're not going to do what's required. And that is why it's so jarring for me and why I get so angry. Because if we actually signed what we needed this summer, I think we will win the title. Yeah, I wanted us to win the title. I believed it after Man, Man United at home. But ultimately, that January window stitched us up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When we signed yep. Trossard, we're like, yo, we mean business. And then they go and sign Kivio and fucking Jorginho. <laughs> that showed me all I needed to know. Mm. It showed me all that. And it's jarring, man, because we have always been so close to being great. Yeah, and it's almost like they don't want to get there. They're just happy being the plucky loser. And every single person at this football club, not one fucking... And just on Jesus, yeah? Jesus came out in an interview and said, our target was to win a trophy, but we've had a very, very good season. Well, how have you? Your target was to win. You didn't win. Why are you saying that? And this is the winning mentality we've signed from City. Yeah. You said the target was a trophy, but we didn't do it, unfortunately. But we've had a very good season. Well, you haven't because you didn't win it. So you failed at your target. Yeah. Nobody's holding this club accountable. Tim <coughs> fucking Lewis, or whatever his name is, coming out saying it's been an exceptional season. What the fuck are you chatting about? Arteta saying the same people that said sixth, seventh, and now pissed off at second. You don't win nothing in any of them positions other than first. Yeah, nobody. Edu keeps talking. Bro, this is the only football club that talks every day. Yeah, it's jarring, man. And people are saying I'm negative all the time. And I know I'm going on a bit of a tangent, yeah? But it is jarring, man. It is jarring. Yeah, we are so close to being great, but they ultimately don't want to be great. Yeah, because like Man City won three million quid more in prize money than we did this season. So why would we spend an extra hundred million on top of what we would have spent to go and win three million more? You're putting 100 million extra in to win 3 million. Yeah, last season we won 5 million less than we did this season. We finished fifth. 5 million. That's 5 million less too. and we finished fifth last season. But they're gassing it up. Oh my God, we've got 159.9 million this season. We've got 154 last season, we finished fifth. Yeah, which was 9 million less than Man City. You finished first. So what's the incentive? Uh, Josh and Stan are just sitting there going, well... Do we really want to go and spend an extra 100, 150 on top to go and get an extra 10 million back? No, we don't. So we do the bare minimum. And this is the problem, bro. When have we ever employed a manager that has a European pedigree other than Emery? Like an elite level. Yeah, I'm talking like Champions League. We've never employed a Champions League winning manager. When have we ever employed a serial title winning manager? Never. Go back all the way through our history. Never. Never. They're not serious, bro. They never have been. And that's the history of the Arsenal. Yeah, and it's jarring because all of us here have seen us fucking with these legends. Yeah, all of us. We've seen that that's the standard. And all of us want us to get to that standard again. And people are doing it in different ways. I do it in a fucking rude and aggressive, horrible way at times. Yeah, and I'm unapologetic with it. Yeah, this club has lied for 19 years. Yeah, and I'll call it out every day. And if people want to come for me, come for me. I'm still getting up tomorrow. 
unless they get through the gates and the police and the CCTV and the security, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then I'm fucked. Yeah, but and that was jarring, man. I really, really believed that at some point this season would win the league, and they let me down. And I ain't going to fall for it again next season. Arteta Lee, what do you give Arteta, mate? Like you, 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 you <laughs> lined it up, blood. You literally just <laughs> lined it up, blood. Like. <laughs> This Yo, dog. Oh, Teta, blood. Get me. Man, sip them. Man, man, man done the whole beer, blood, before he said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with it. I'm going to give him a five. What? Yeah, I'll give him a five. Yeah, his, his decision making at Man United away, high line, Saka equalizes. You're now still high line. Yeah, by the time you make any subs, we're 2 1 down. Then you make a sub, then we go 3 1 down. You're still playing high line. Ridiculous. Anfield, 2 0 up. He keeps Zinchenko on the pitch for 85, 86 minutes. Ultimately, cost us both the goals. Southampton, he cost us both the goals. Tinney has been so disrespected. I hope that guy, that's my fucking baller right there, mate. I hope he goes to Man City or Newcastle. Yeah, I actually called Newcastle, I think, in October. I said, I hope he joins Newcastle. It's near Glasgow. It's not far. Yeah, but five, man. Yeah, that guy fucked our season up. Yeah, overplaying Saka, not making the tough decisions at tough times, signing... Um, Kivior and then Demon in worse than Rob Holden for eight games. Yeah. Playing Thomas Party when he was shocking and then dropping him and then putting him back in and playing right back. Nah, man. It's all the good work that Arteta done this season and it's been one of the most enjoyable seasons for the most part that we've had in a long time. But ultimately, he undone all that good work with the last eight weeks. Yeah. And, and, the, and that fucking hurts, mate. Yeah, that hurts because we should have won the league this season. Yeah. And he cocked it up and it's on him. It's on him. I'll give him a six. Um, I did say to Zar, the only person that can cost us the lead title is who, Zar? I did. I said it, bro. Literally, when you hear these men, it's like you're hearing me talk again. I like, fam. Not here. It's, it's literally like, I've got like, literally, there's, there's me if I was skinny and there's me if I was white. You understand? Because <laughs> <laughs> me and Kurt, it's the same colour. I lose another 10, 10 pounds. I'm Curtis. You understand? If I was white, I'm, I'm gonna blood. You get me? But I'd give him a six because I do believe he did. I do believe um, in-game management is what rattles me with him, bro. Yeah. That rattles me the most, blood. You can see changes need to be made and you won't do it. His loyalty to players... I see a lot of wenger traits in him as well. The loyalty, the stubbornness, the, the arrogance at times, the way he disrespects cups. I stack wenger as well. I remember when we didn't win an FA Cup for nine years, for about seven years, we absolutely didn't give two shits about the FA Cup. We would send the likes of Francis Coquelin, Fran Merida, and all their man there to go and play in the third round. I remember this, bro. You understand? Um, the way we bottled the league, because for me, no matter how you wrap it up and you want to PR it, we bottled the league, mate. You cannot be eight points clear April 1st and don't win the league title. It is bottle job, mate. Yeah. And no matter how well we did, we bottled it. And to come out of the season with no trophy, I can't give you a seven, bro. You get me? So for me, Champions League football... Well done. I want that, but I want to win that now. Yeah, I'm not going in there to participate. I want to be a winner, blood. Yeah. So for me, I'd give Arteta a six. Za? This one's complicated. Uh, I've been trying to think here, trying to, trying to. So was it a successful season? No. It was progress. It wasn't success. Did we, did we move forward? Yes. Do, do I think we move forward? Yes. If if we because because let's go back to the beginning of the season and then try to look at this whole thing as a whole. If we looked at our squad and we compared it to other people, I mean, people were talking about five sixes and all that. So you got to give him credit for that. He was able to squeeze, he was able to squeeze a lot of juice. Pause out of a pause <laughs> out of out of you know out of out of people <laughs> that 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 he, he got he got he got people playing. At their best, at their best, which which a lot of managers, you know, even in their team and all that, it's it's hard to get your players playing at their best for so long and all that. So, uh, however, bests do have ceilings. So for what we had, 
he did he did do well. His in game stuff, he was he was. I thought that that's what brings his 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 mark a whole lot down, and that's I think what cost us what cost us. That's the main thing that cost us the title. Did we did we have the squad? I mean, we could have we January we should have done better in January, but even after with even even after that January window closed with those guys, with the guys that we had, you know, the Jorginho's coming in and the Trossard's coming in, I still think he could have squeezed the juice out of all the players to get us over the line. And he wasn't able to do that because of his in-game decisions and all. And that's what, that's the main thing that knocks it down for me, for him. And I am going to shoot between six and a half and seven. Let's go seven. Seven, his in-game stuff is what's brought us back down a lot. He did squeeze. I mean, he had, he had Martinelli, Martinelli playing out of his mind. Saliba, you know, the, the, when we were cooking, we we're cooking. You got you to gotta give him credit for that. But we didn't cook for long enough. So it goes down to six and a half, seven. Guys? Mm. Yeah, for me, I, I'd probably give him a... A six, six and a half, I think. Even though, you know, we... I suppose at the start of the season, you're looking at that squad, you're not really expecting a title race. Yeah. Um, so he has to get some credit and the style of football. I think for three quarters of the season, we were the best football team in the league. We were yeah, more right. exciting to watch than City. Um, where I can't praise him too much is, first of all... A season at Arsenal where you don't win a trophy can never be called a great season because nobody, no fan will look back on this season in five years and think, oh, that memorable 22-23 season where we didn't win anything. It just, It's just another season. You remember seasons we won FA Cups or whatever. Trophies are the most important thing. Equally as well, Eddie Howe got Champions League in one season at Newcastle. <sighs> They were they were like in a relegation battle last season. They finished fourth. Do you know they, spent less, less, they, less, they spent less money as well. Is he in phase four? Phase I don't three, know what right? phase he's in or what project <laughs> YouTube's in. I don't know. Is he in phase four? <laughs> I don't know what phase he's in, bro. But he's yeah, because now we're in phase four, four's our blood. You know, we had that <laughs> we had trust the process, we had a youth project. Yeah. And then and then what? No, it's phase, phase three, and now we're in phase four, blood. Yeah, no, no, but Kyle Saka said we've got time, time is on our side. Oh, yeah, time's on our side. That's yeah, what you want. Nine years time. without a trophy, a title, but yeah. time's on our side. Yeah, we've got another 10 years, our blood. Bigger fish yeah. to fry as well, you know. Great. <laughs> we're looking for fish. Bigger fish. You know what I mean? Inverted. Blessing in the skies. There's a blessed area. Yeah. Go straight on the league. Big yeah, inverted bro. title challenge. You know what I mean? Inverted title challenge. But, I like. Do you know what? I, the one thing I'll say, it, like for me, January was a disgrace. I said it mm. many times. I've had mad arguments on Twitter. Um, who do you blame that for? You know, where does the blame lie? Did the owners give him the money? Did Edu mess up the deals? Because to me, I look at Kivior, I'm like, He's not ready for the Premier League. Not at a top level. That's a, that's look, a summer signing, not a January. That's a signing. summer signing. Yeah, I, you know, just get a solid Lewis Dunk or someone in January to. I, I want a defender, not some guy who's ducking down, putting his boot on, and all that kind of foolishness. Jorginho was in the recycling bin at Chelsea, eleventh in the table. And no, you can tell me about Ballon d'Ors from seven years ago, and not that was a dead signing. Jorginho. Chelsea couldn't wait to get him. They probably couldn't believe when they got that phone call. Six months left, 12 million, 120 grand a week. Take him. Take him right now. They didn't want him. They were mid-table. And then Trossard, okay, Trossard's a good signing, but he wasn't He wasn't the number one target. Mm. You know, he's a, he is a good player, though. I don't mind that signing. Yeah, I was so, very happy with Trossard. I was happy with that. I mean, just coincidentally, tonight's the Europa League final. You know, we if you, uh, if you ain't winning the league, league yeah, Mourinho would probably go and win it. But if you're not in, if you don't win the league, we should have at least been in a Europa League final. It's a winnable final. That's the we target know. we was told: top four in Europa League. See, see you, you just made a great point. Yeah, pre-season, four of our players, including our captain and captain without the armband, yeah, said top four in Europa League. All of our fans said top four in Europa League. We didn't win the Europa League, so why is this being dressed up as success? Yeah, because we only got top four. It's progress, not success. Success yeah, when can we is determined. Have, when when can we actually have a title? Yeah. <laughs> and, and the thing is now, it's like, 
are we ever going to get this opportunity again? I know the that's narrative is... me off, Curtis Blood. And that's I it. I think we missed a trick. And when people cuss me, oh, you're negative troops. Bro, I'm not negative. I am a realist. There is the a world difference. does not blood. stay still. Do you understand? City not are not... Like, the man got rid of Aguero and got Haaland. Like, bro, do you think still. men are going to sit there with their hands in their pockets watching everyone make moves? Are you on no. crack? Everyone is going to They're going to go mad in the summer, bro. Pochett, Chelsea, Newcastle. Newcastle. Newcastle ain't even started writing out. That's Czech what I'm yet. saying. You know what Eddie I mean? Eddie Howe's already coming out saying we're looking at marquee signings. Yeah. yeah. You know marquee. I mean? Marquee. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're not wow. talking about fucking go listen to Mark 150 yeah. billion. It wouldn't How surprise do do me do one yeah. bit if they signed Ivan Tony. Yeah. He because was, he's yeah. a Newcastle boy. He's a Newcastle him. player, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Tierney will go there. And if you don't go there, he's going to City. Yeah, I'd love him to this go This is what I don't get. How can Pep want to go City just to I end this Pep inverted want bullshit? Tierney, but then and, 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 your left <laughs> now <laughs> won't want him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Make the thing make sense, blood. <laughs> but do you know what's funny, yeah? Is when, when Tierney plays, like... So if you get you get on a lot of planes, yeah? When you get on a plane, yeah? Would you ask the air stewardess to fly the plane? There we go. <laughs> so why the fuck are you asking Tierney to go inverted? Like, what is that all about? Oh, no look at, I'll give you a prime example, yeah? Look at, look at Madrid, yeah? They've got Camavinga playing at left-back. Do you yeah. think Angelotti is going to make Camavinga play an inverted role? He's going to say to him, play left-back, just play the left-back role. Don't invert. That's your man. Do you know what? I watch That's your man. I watch Up and down. That's what you do. single week, yeah? They they had man like Nacho who's leaving, right? Up and down, up and down, up and down. Danny Carvajal, up and down, up and down. Camavinga does invert Halfway to a certain line. degree, yeah. But in the Champions League, there was no inverted shit. He's up and down, up and down, up and down, yeah. And he and when he played in midfield in the Champions League, I think it was against Chelsea. Yeah, I think he had a hundred percent pass accuracy. Yeah, he did. Yeah, which yeah. is why he played him at left back in the next game because Nacho was out injured. Yeah, but none of this bullshit, bro. And, and the, do you know what winds me up with Arsenal fans here? Yeah? Who could do better? Give me some names. Who do you want? You then list off a whole bunch of names and they dismiss them all. Yeah, there's always an issue. Yeah. Ancelotti yeah, yeah. did nothing at Everton. Yeah. Oh, Simeone, oh, you're dead. Yeah, Simeone's team scored one goal less than Barcelona and they won the league. But apparently he's a negative manager. They scored six goals less than Real Madrid. Negative manager. Oh, Zidane won't join us. Well, why won't he? Yeah, Luis Enrique. Now, nah, what did he do with Spain? You rule all of these top, top elite level managers and they all dismiss them every time. I could name Jesus Christ the fucking Lord, mate. Yeah, and they would still dismiss it. <laughs> and yeah? that man was Gary as well. God forbid, <laughs> God forbid Mikel Arteta quits the job today because if he does, the club's finished. Yeah, we'll have to fold because no one could do better. I'll take a come like the new winger, blood. I swear down. Bro, that's, that's what it. they're looking for. They want another fucking love story. It's true. Yeah, you know that you know this club, it seems like over the last like half decade, it's like they have to have a cult following. It was Ozil, it was Wenger, now yeah. it's Arteta. You say anything that questions him, it's like you know, the world's on fire. Like we're allowed to ask questions. He's been here for four you seasons. You don't and they're four always seasons. four years behind. Always four years behind. I said at the start of the season, yeah. I think it was September, October. I said Emil Smith Rowe is always injured. If he don't do anything yeah. this season, bin him. I said yeah? that I got killed. And I got told, you're a disgrace. I said that I got killed. Now, Charles Watts is tweeting out, the end is nigh for Emil Smith-Rowe. And everyone's going, get rid of him. Okay, well, you're coming back to apologise then. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm bro, they're always four years behind or a year behind or six months behind or six years behind. We've seen this in Wenger out days, lads, yeah? Wenger in, Wenger out. Everyone punching each other up at the games, yeah? <laughs> now, fast forward all these years later, we're not going to get into a bidding war and just buy anyone because that's what got us in this mess. So now you're admitting Wenger was the fucking issue then. Yeah? Bro, they don't believe... Most of these people that are on this Arteta in train, yeah, this love fest train, don't believe what they're saying. They don't believe it. Yeah, I had this conversation last night, yeah? If you... And it was the same with the COVID thing, yeah? Right? But I'll give it in real quick, simple terms. If you've got 10 million people that are Arteta in and they fucking fancy him, love him, adore him, he's the greatest... And you've got 10,000 down here that can't stand him. The 10,000 in the minority. But if the 10,000 keep going every day and keep saying what they're saying every day, a quarter of this 10 million don't believe the shit anyway. They're only there for vibes. So now more and more of them, a quarter of them, two and a half million, now go on to this side. So now you've only got seven and a half million. Now you've got two and a half million. Yeah? 
Now the two and a half million are saying the same thing every day. All of a sudden, results start going the wrong way. Now three and a half out of that seven and a half, now suddenly over here. Now that's the majority. And it comes down to the results. As soon as we get a couple of shit results next season, real quick, they'll turn. We see 30,000 walk out of Brighton, bro. That's football. Forget the love fest at the weekend. That was always going to be a love fest. 30,000 man walked out against Brighton. Remember that when they panned to the yeah. things, though? We was doing the watching up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they showed Arsenal Station, and it, it was like round. carnival, fam. Oh, it looked like carnival. Yeah, blood. <laughs> we need to come on the floats, blood. Hey, what's up? Look at you today. Hey, what? Look at you today. That's what you needed, blood. Why are they walking out? This is the best thing they've seen for years. Why did they all walk up out and give up on their manager and their team? Yeah. Sunday was always going to be a carnival atmosphere. Yes, facts. It was yeah, going to be. We knew that because them tickets were sold for dough back in yeah, yeah. months ago. There was yeah. people outside. Some Hannah. guy stopped me and said he bought his ticket for five bags. I said, oh, my <sighs> days. Hannah. Five Hannah. bags. Tell him to start I donating a, to the I, channel. I, 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 have a visa, I have a visa. I had a visa in my passport for that game, Gunner. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> he, spent, he, spent, he spent seven bills on a visa. Yeah. No, I you lot are fucking just, tapped. I can't just lie. Just to get there for that game. No, but that's now he's going to use it for the first Champions be a League carnival, game. yeah, because everyone's had, or some of these people have had the best season they've seen supporting the club. Yeah, because yeah, of their age, yeah, yeah. The fan base is young but now. Bro. It was telling yeah. when thirty thousand people walked out against Brighton. You could see yeah. the cannon. You could see the cannon on the seats. So I was like a two 0 down, seventy two minutes away. I was saying to Ola, I was like, why are they all leaving? Back your manager. Trust the process. We're in phase three. Yeah, like, why are you leaving? <laughs> then they get the first goal. Now, at the stadium's fire drill. Oh, the face yeah? face. That was telling, yeah? And that tells me that despite the love fest on Sunday, that tells me that half of them people are chatting through, they're lying through their teeth, yeah? They want to believe it. They want it to happen, which we all do. Yeah, we all want to win the fucking league, yeah? Some of us are stay quiet. Some of us will be vocal. Some of us will be aggressive, like me, and angry and shout and scream and call everyone out, yeah? Some of them are just sitting, yeah. I was speaking to, to Russ the other day, yeah, big up Russ, and he said that somebody was kicking off in the ground because he was calling out the Cronkies. <laughs> and they were like, have you not seen how much, mate? He's like, we ain't won nothing, mate. Yeah, and yeah, Kenny Ken, all the people around Kenny Ken, yeah, all saying the same shit about the season, all saying the same thing throughout the season. Get Saka off his business, get this off. They're all saying the same thing. Yeah, there's a lot of people in that stadium, yeah, that are winging it. And as soon as results do go, and listen, hopefully they don't. Hopefully we'd smash it in the Champions League. Don't get embarrassed. We go on and try and win something, yeah? But ultimately, if it goes the other way, you watch how quick it turns next season. Because if we start, we started this season with nine wins out of ten, we ain't doing that again next season. No. I still yeah. think there's a massive problem with the ownership. I, I know yeah. people... I'll, I'll, never know. Be, I'll never be crunky in, bro. Let me nah. just, let me just yeah, get I mean, that in. I mean, bruv, look at look at their teams. Like Denver Nuggets are in the final. The you know what I mean? Every single LA team, Rams bro. have won the Super Bowl. Rams won the Super Bowl. Man, man we saying, built yeah. the fucking stadium. Saying, they yeah. won the Super Bowl. Man is saying, yeah, he's, you know, he spent four hundred million this at the other teams are doing that in two transfer windows. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? We we he doesn't. He, he's not like you said earlier. You know, he, he's not going to spend a hundred million to make an extra three million or, or five million. Mm -hmm. You know, he's mm -hmm. he's going to be out of pocket. So, yeah. and when he knows. When a club knows that they can get away with something, they will do it. So when they sign Jorginho instead of Caicedo and they go online and all the big accounts are spewing out his stats and mm -hmm. what he was nominated for five years ago, they're going, oh, they're lapping it up. But this so is the thing. On Twitter, I'm on Twitter, I'm probably the only one with like a, that you could say like a big account. Yeah. That goes like, yo, you man fucking mad. What the fuck is this like? And then yeah. you look at my replies. Oh, this, that, you're a cunt, leave the club, fuck off down the lane. No, 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 this shit. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Well, no, I've been to Highbury more times than you've been to the Emirates, bro. Mm. Are you fucking dumb? <laughs> like, behave yourself. But we we, we see the other week that PSG got exposed to paying people to promote the, the club on match day and stuff yeah. like that. Now don't yeah. ask them to do that. Yeah. 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 Why, why? And, the, and this football club have seen COVID times, yeah, COVID times where the, the manipulation, the words, the whatever. Yeah, they're constant. Everyone's looking for information. They're all watching the TV. They're all saying the same thing on every news channel. Yeah. Now, when you've got Ian Wright, and I know you love Wrighty. I used to. I can't stand him anymore. Yeah. Parla, Keon. They're all saying I can't the same lie, thing. though. You know what? I love Unkshare, but when you do that, we love Wrighty. I love it. I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, you know, he's blocked me everywhere, bro. I love Ox, yeah. Ox, you're probably everywhere. watching this. Ox, I love you, but when he he's drops that everywhere. one, blood. I lose my shit. No, no, that is true. But when, when you've got three ex players in the back pocket, then when you've got all the journalists in your back pocket indirectly, yeah, because you'll give them the conky interview, you'll give them Thomas Party breaking news when Fabrizio said it ain't happening. Charles Watts is saying it's happening. Oh my God, Fabrizio's had to backtrack. Yeah, you got Ornstein doing up the, the, the Josh interview and stuff like that. They're all indirectly in the pocket. Now they're all saying the same thing. You've got the ex players saying the same thing. You've got the current players saying the same thing. You've got the ownership saying the same thing. You've got the hierarchy saying the same thing. You've got the manager saying, then they're paying accounts. I'm adamant at this. They're all saying the same thing. Yeah, now this is exactly like when we were sat in our asses for two years, everyone's saying the same thing. And you had arguments with your family members if you didn't want to do this, this, and this. Yeah, 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 yeah. because mm -hmm. everyone's on the same page. Yeah, yeah. These football clubs are taking the piss. Arsenal, Man United, and Spurs. Arsenal and Spurs are now selling match worn shirts. I saw that, yeah. yeah. On and the web. Arsenal and Spurs started sending them the exact same day. And you're telling me they're not in colluding with each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guarantee, I've not checked it, I guarantee that Granite Xhaka shirt at the weekend will be up for sale. Yeah. And I guarantee if all four of us want to buy it, we can all get it. We can all get it. It's not a one of one. I don't care what they say on their website. That is not a one of one. Because if you get it, I'm getting it. Curtis is getting it. Zara's getting it. Yeah. And they're charging 1,800 euros for the Gabby Jesus one against Newcastle. 900 for the Gabriel Magalash 4-1 loss against City. You're going to pay 900 for Magalash's shirt. That we and lost. then it says in small print, oh, but it's been disinfected. Oh, thanks, mate. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's <laughs> fucking disgrace at times, yeah? But when everyone's pushing on the same... I didn't even know about this. I'm, I'm, I'm learning yeah, all this I now. Said, I said, this is news to me, too. News to me, blood. To me too. Bro, Henry told me this, this on Friday. I didn't know this. I don't go on their website. Bro, the last thing I brought from Arsenal was that yellow kit last season, the away shirt. And I bought it last mm. June. Yeah? Not the June gone, the June before. Yeah, the, the yellow away kit, the nice like banana y color away kit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thick, yeah. Thick material. Yeah, I don't even know yeah, what yeah. it is. Yeah. I brought that as my birthday present to me because my birthday's in June. Yeah. Mm. I brought that as a birthday present to me, and that was before the transfer window opened. I ain't bought nothing since. Yeah, and that was two summers ago. Yeah, I refuse to buy anything. When this club start acting like a big club and start holding people accountable, you got Rob Holden saying you can't look past what we've achieved this season. What the fuck are you chatting about, mate. Yeah, Ramsdale saying, oh, a season of progress. Well, I suppose it is, because normally you get relegated, mate. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah, like, it pisses no. me off because not one player at this football club, not one person in high regard at this football club has come out and said, no, I'm totally pissed off we didn't win anything. Yeah, Gabby Jesus has said, our target was to win a trophy. We didn't, unfortunately, but it's been a very good season. Well, it ain't because you didn't win what you're supposed to, what you wanted to. This is a serial winner. Yeah, and when you've got all of this putting into the millions of people online, and then you've got somebody like me or you guys that are coming out and slightly going against it, or me fucking on it every day, yeah, all of a sudden you're bombarded. Curtis, you know this. Yeah, you mm. get fucking more people than me and troops combined watching your watch alongs, bro. Yeah, and as soon as you say something negative, I guarantee your chat's going mad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, same. As soon as you say one thing against Arteta, it's like you've killed him. It's like the fucking, oh my God, you've attacked my dad. Yeah, because they're all desperate to have this Arteta Ar love story. He ain't the guy, mate. That's it. How many other managers at an elite level football club would last three, four seasons without winning nothing? They wouldn't. Yeah. Real Madrid are looking at sacking Ancelotti. Yeah, their fans, I, I live here. Every Madrid fan I speak to don't like him. They want him gone. And he's won six trophies. That's crazy. That's six insane. trophies in two years. That's, That's more than we've won since we've been at the Emirates. They want him sacked. That's the levels. Yeah, you've got Vinicius Jr. coming out straight after the Man City game saying, I can't believe I've played all season not to get into a Champions League final or win the title. It's been a shambles. Yeah, I'll trade all of my goals and assists this season to be in that Champions League final, he said. Yeah, but we've got players coming out saying, well, we were going for a trophy, but we still had a great season. The mentality stinks, man. And the Conkeys are part of this. You're right, Curtis. The Conkeys are part of this, yeah? But the reason they take the piss is because when they've got the PR train all in the back pocket, Everyone's happy, mate. 5% increase on season ticket next season. Everyone will still be there. They've raised it 5% this season. That's now 10% in two seasons. Mm. And everyone will still be there. Yeah, and people just go, oh, why can't you just be negative? We're top of the league. Well, we fucking ain't now, are we? Yeah. Best season we've had for 20 years. No, it ain't. This lot won it 19 years ago. 
Yeah. Oh, it's the, oh yeah, we're back in the Champions League. Well, guess what, mate? Last time we was there, we finished second to Leicester, and I was protesting to get Wenger out. Yeah, I'm sure you were there as well, troops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we were what? active, bro. And guess what? That following season, which we had qualified for the Champions League, was the biggest embarrassment in the club's history. 10-2. We've been there 20 times. We never won it. So why are you so gassed to get back there? We can't do what's required to win the league, let alone win that. Bro, I'm telling you now, next season we'll struggle for top four. Yeah, we will struggle for top four. Yeah, and if I'm proven wrong, I'll hold my hands up. But I've been proven right because this manager is faking it. The club are faking it. The fans are faking it en masse. But ultimately, you can't fake being real. Yeah, and if you can, you can only do it for a certain period, bro. Last season, he faked it and bottled top four because his true colours come through. This season, we were top of the league. Nobody expected it great. But anyone who's trusted the process did expect it. Yeah, because they trusted, what, to get top four again? Was that what you were trusting then? Or was you trusting to be in a title race? So all these people that are saying, I didn't, oh, we'd nobody expected it. Well, what, you've been backing for three and a half years then? Where did you expect us to be? How long, and this is one thing, I know I'm waffling, yeah? One thing I want to say, why can nobody tell you when the end date of the process is and when you can demand success? Because they live in Disneyland, mate. Yeah, they want the fucking fantasy. We're the plucky losers. Man City have got, oh, we can't compete. Yeah, Granite Shaka, we want you to stay. Why? Because if he stays, the standards are still down. If we get rid of him, the standards raise if we buy a better player. They'll yeah, go and buy Caicedo and Rice. All of a sudden, you can't demand just top four. Yeah, they want to be plucky losers, bro. And that is why I argue with them every day. They had the biggest single problem with this football club. And the Conkeys know this, which is why they do the bare minimum. Yeah, and when you've got them doing bare minimum, fans saying all this shit, bro, we're finished. We'll never be that elite level club that we were told we would be. We're never going to be it. And it's jarring, man. Yeah, and it's fucking painful because we've all seen it. We've all seen the levels of this football club and it can be. Anyway, rent over, man. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, man. And with that blood. And with that 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 dagger to the heart for all the Arsenal fans, blood, we're going to wrap it, blood. You understand? Gunnar, Curtis, Zah, appreciate you all. You get me, bro. Make sure you follow Zah on um, TikTok at the Midget Zimbo. Subscribe to the Man Them's channels. Link will be in the bio. Make sure you subscribe to the Man Them. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to Troop TV. And like I say, at the end of every episode, blood, I'll stay safe. <laughs> Funky out. And wash your fucking hands, blood. <laughs>